Well, there is no more daylight, but... I don't know what day you're talking about, but uh, my daylight's been gone forever. You Can you have daylight? So, okay. So, hello everyone, and welcome back to our show, Growing Campaigns, um, where some good friends of mine and I play Dungeons and Dragons from across the U.S. Um, typically, I would have a cocktail, but it's the same cocktail from the last three weeks, the Dutch Master Daiquiri. Um, I did not prepare one today as we're already running very late. Um, if you'd like to see how it is made though, you could go over to our bartender channel and there'll be a link down below. Uh, links to our full episodes and website will also be down below and we will air our show 1 p.m. Sunday Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can come join us, sip on our cocktails with us or whatever you would like and enjoy our storytelling and our spirits. And with that, I guess we can uh, rush on into the story. It's the growing campaigns. Don't forget, there is a growing campaign. There's a there's a lot of growing today. Um, it's good. Wow. You gotta stamp out of that accent. Please don't. <laughs> Anyways, um, so last we left off, our adventurers had made their way to the Wizards of the Wine Winery. They were helping out a um, Valakai citizen tavern owner, Erwin. Upon arrival, they found out that the owners slash operators of the winery are Irwin's family and currently have been run out of the winery by a bunch of druids and these plant-like creatures that they brought with them. Um, they agreed to help Irwin's family and the Martikovs and made their way to the winery um, where oh man i'm just showing the map i'm not even showing myself anyways uh sorry uh so they made their way into the winery where they were ambushed by a ton of these little twig creatures and a druid in uh the fermentation vats um Booyah went upstairs to search around everyone i think i think he led the charge and uh um another like earthly looking wild creature had began to run away from everyone they pursued him down back onto the lower floor Booyah stayed up top to investigate um and i guess where we left off is we had uh helena gudrin and callie making their way down to the cellar where they heard a loud thunderous boom um, by Adonis um, and Irina and Ismark had split off in the other direction to maybe track down the other or the creature that was running away um, Adonis had ran run into like six humanoid like figures um, one that looked like a, a conifer, or five that looked like conifers, like almost evergreen trees with these um, glowing eyes and another wild looking humanoid. Um, that was the, um, the, the one that caused the thunderous boom. Um, Adonis, currently you are pushed up against the wall from this thunderous boom and you see just a bunch of red liquid that begins, begins to just like flow down and is surrounding your feet. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and start with initiative right off the top of the bat. Blood is My blood? Oh my God. I'm gonna get all sticky. Well, you, you, heard, you heard a bunch of, uh, actually make an intelligence check after your initiative. Is that just for Adonis or for everyone? For just Hopefully for it's wine. Uh, there's a thing for that. Fifteen. 
Well, you did hear several bottles explode. Oh, thank God. So it is a, you assume it's a large pool of wine at your feet. Okay. All right. Gotta do Cali for all two. So okay. we'll go with 25 to 20. Ah, uh, Adonis got a 23. Yo, Gudrun with the 20. Okay, 20 to 15. 17. Callie got a 15. That didn't sound like Callie. Callie got a fucking 15. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh shit. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Callie's a sailor. Matt just leaves her at 11. <laughs> He's fucking Callie. Yark. Yark, I gotta say my name. You got an 11? Yes, sir. All right, so we can go ahead and start with Adonis. It's a me. Adonis. That's right. It's also a me. Ooh, pay attention to the map. What is that, bro? What are them bros? Which bros? What bro? I like them bros. Don't talk it, about them bros. It's real sticky down there. Aha. <laughs> I'm glad I have all my spells. Back to Cali. Cali. Oh, wait. I'm Cali. Oh, that looks a little <laughs> dangerous down there. It's a little dangerous. Uh, oh, boy. Somebody's gonna die. Somebody stop me. Alright, Adonis. Um, so you are starting us off. What is it you would like to do as you look into this fairly dark room? It is super frigid down here. Um, you see a wine rack, a few barrels in the back. The red symbol would be the humanoid. The like wild one that looks like similar to the other druids that you've seen, and then these like conifer, like evergreen plants surrounding him. Mm. So like, oh my god, my god, yeah, my god, bold. Um, everything's great. And we're just gonna we're gonna cast a good old fashioned dragon breath on myself. Okay. Um which oh. dragon breath? That's bonus action to do is just call a fire. Fire breath. Okay. Uh wait, that's yeah, that's one of the options. Uh how far away is the druid? Uh he is ten feet away. Okay. I do I want to get out of the way of the doorway? I want to be able to hit, so it's a 15 foot cone, sure. and I want to hit the both of them. So, the, I want to get out of the... Here? Yeah, that one and the druid. Yeah. I want to try to hit both, but I also want to get out of the way of the ramp for anyone coming down, which hopefully they are. Well, without a movement, you can hit both of them. Hit him, then move. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll just hit him first. How about that? Um, so it's a, it's a save, right? It's a dexterity save. We got dex saves. And it would be a 14 DC. All good information. That is a 16 for a druid and a natural 20 for the other creature. A little la-dee-da. So they both save. So here comes 12 fire damage reduced to 6 fire damage. 6 fire damage. Alright. Um, you can see that these, these creatures next to them aren't super hardy. You've already burnt up a good 
good majority of this this creature. Please die. <laughs> uh, okay. Clap. So, the rest of you have just heard this loud thunderous boom come from under underneath. And as you're as you feel alerted and are starting to rush towards well, some of you are starting to rush towards the sound, you hear a very familiar sound from where Ismark and Irina both ducked off into. So now, Gudrun, you have heard both thunderous explosions from God. the cellar and somewhere oh in this vicinity. You are oh, God. headed on your way down, but... Am I, I'm past Callie, right? Past her going down? Uh, no. No, Callie's in front of you. Okay. All right, well... I'm doing? very loyal to Adonis. I'm gonna charge past Callie to get downstairs to help Adonis. And as I pass her, I'm gonna say, Callie, you go help the others. I think there may be trouble of brewing. And then I'm just gonna get in there. How far can, when I reach Adonis, can I she keep going past light, him? Toby. Are you, are you wanted to step up, right? Yeah, side? maybe, I don't. Step there, care. yes. Yeah. Okay, so what is your movement, 30 feet? 30 feet. That's 30 feet. Shit. Okay. It's, um, it's, can I... It's rough terrain to move through Cali. Through Cali. Okay. Am I able... Can I see that with what I can gather right now? Can I see that druid? Yeah. Okay. I am just going to, from my current spot, I am just going to launch a friggin' hand axe right at his head. How far... Are they 10 feet from me right there? Yep. Or her head. Or her. Sorry. His or her. I'd like to imagine I'm killing a man, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to launch my hand axe as I enter my rage. All right, go ahead and make a dexterity attack. Or a, a range attack. Words, words, man. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Uh, that, unfortunately, misses. Ooh. No. Ooh. The uh, the hand axe actually sticks right in the wine rack, right at the top of it, just below like the druid's throat area. Okay. You raise and then, the bonus action. That's your movement. Yep. And then uh, as a as I do. Oh shoot! I forgot I could have dashed. That's all right. As I get close, as I enter my rage, my storm aura explodes with a six damage of lightning damage unless they can make a 14 save dex save dex right? yep dex save to the druid to the druid uh that is uh eight. Oh, full damage six damage all right dead in the rage you just see lightning shoot like, as, just as Gudrun throws this hand axe and it sticks to the ground, lightning follows it, shooting just below or above the trajectory of the axe, hitting this, this creature. It, um, let's see. So you have Ismark in the other room. You can... Helena and Callie would be able to hear a slight struggle in the other room. Um, Helena, it is now your turn. Um, hearing the slight struggle behind me, I'm going to move forward down to where Callie is and move past her if I can. Yep, you'd be right in front of her. Pretty much like right here. Okay. I'll uh, say, Callie, we have to help Adonis. And I can't see anything happening, so. Here I am. Oh. I can prepare something. I'll prepare Aldrich Blast to see if uh, anything, any wood uh, creatures, um, tree creatures come around the corner. 
So I can't really see Gudrun there either. Oh, man. It's not fair. Why are you making me make these decisions? So, having... Why, um... didn't, you... <laughs> Why didn't you go back? <laughs> no. I so... told Kelly what I think we should do. I told Kelly what I think she should do. So, I know. Everyone's trying to tell Kelly what to do all the time. All I know is this Mark will blame Helena for whatever happens. <laughs> I would. Same, what, relatable. Luckily, he doesn't know that you said, I hear the struggle, and then I go help Adonis. Yeah, yeah, Adonis is struggling down there. Is, I don't know if those are his thunderclaps. You don't know that Adonis is struggling. You've just heard two booms on each side of you. <laughs> That's fair. I know where my heart would lead me. <laughs> sure. So, Part of the um, cards. So these creatures come up, two of them come up to you, Adonis, and um, they attack you with two quick claws, and um, one of them actually shoots um, some, like, this long, like, four to six inch needle from its chest at you. Whoa. Ew. Um, <laughs> that's a eight, a twelve for the claws. Nope. And then the, the needle's a 10. Nope. I Oof. thought those were all damage at first. And like, oh no. <laughs> Get out of here, you freaking twig people. And then, uh... Guzran, you're also going to get a two-needle shot at you. Shoot me. I dare you. Well, that is a 20 and a 17. Oh, those are both hits. No oh, you. Oh, thank God, it's him. <laughs> Right, that's a lot of dice you have there, sir. <laughs> Gudra will remember this. <laughs> Don't worry, they're all ones. So that's 11 points of piercing damage. Well, 11 ones. Reduced, reduced to 5 because you're okay. And then 9 points of piercing damage reduced to 4. So 9 total piercing damage because you're raging. God, okay. I was so glad it was you. All right, Callie, you're up. Callie is so nice to Irina, and Irina's nice to her because you know she's not. But she's gonna go help Irina, is Mark. So she's gonna run back. I know this is this is what Callie would do. Uh, fucking stupid. She would. She would. That's true. So goes runs back into the room with the uh, I guess brewing stuff and as far as she can. So you can you can see Ismark and Irina are pushed up against this wall. Irina is completely unconscious with blood coming out of her mouth and both of her oh, ears. Oh god. And um Ismark oh, god. Ismark looks looks wrecked. He's like he's pushed up against the ground. He's trying to get up to help Irina. And oh my god. there is just a huge <clears throat> patch of vines that just cover this entire area just wrapping wrapping both of them up oh vine dude <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you got that um and i don't see anybody else make a oh yeah you can make a perception check hey bud <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh okay. she rolled a one, so let's just forget that it even happened. Okay, you didn't use your you didn't use your action, well, but you do not notice anyone in this room. By the way, it was if it was perception, it would have been a negative one for Callie. <laughs> even better, even oh. better. Oh, your eyes literally just rolled back. You you can't <laughs> see anything. Um, you forgot how to see. Your ears shut. Your eyes roll back. <laughs> your mouth can't taste. <laughs> All senses okay. go numb. She, she's gonna just ready a firebolt because she's not ready to dash into anywhere. So if she sees a <coughs> raggedy old anything or some some freaking wood people come around, which I'm sorry if that's a pejorative term, uh, she's gonna hit them. Yeah, old well, tree stumps getting pretty offended. 
Uh, oh my god. Uh, bad. <laughs> the firebolt, yeah. I'm ready oh, that one. Alright. I'm uh, really nervous for Irina. Oh my god. Yes, you are. And the only person that could heal her is just ran away. <laughs> hey, why are you preparing any healing spells? Uh, don't have none. Fuck that. Just you can't. guys, this is what Callie sounds like, so okay? Hey, Callie wants to, uh, yeah, she already threw all her stuff. I bet Callie has potions of healing on her, though. I don't have her inventory, so I don't know. So even better, you can say she does. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think Helena gave her one last episode. Uh, was it used on studio? <laughs> I don't know. I have zero wounds. That's the show I have a wound. Okay. So... Oh, because you jumped... No, you... Did you jump down the thing? Because that's where you got your wound. It must be. So, Gudrun. Yes. Um, you see this, this creature that, like, yeah. it, it, it ducked under, under the, the wine rack, and it looks up at you, and it expels, it, it like, makes fire in its hand, and it throws it at you. Exploding in your chest. Ooh. That's a sixteen to hit. You know it hits, baby. Oh damn! Nice, nice. I definitely went the right way. You take eight <laughs> points of fire damage. Ooh, that feels good. It's toasty. Wait, which? Hmm. I'm getting down there, guys. It's it's happening. Did you choose a storm aura? Oh no, wait, yeah, you got. Uh, I had the mind. lightning one. Yeah, never mind. So no fire. Have... Fire would have been useful. So there's just like there's flames that are like licking up your up your chest and your neck, singeing your. Ah. Ah. So uh, 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 <laughs> my my fur. I have to pat oh, yeah. out the embers of my oh, fur. It smells gross down here now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's your turn. What are you doing? I don't even know where I am. Yeah, where's okay. Booyah? He, so, he was searching up top. He's just do 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 So there's a, a loading winch. And oh, you, yeah. you walked into this small hallway, which had two doors that lead to two separate rooms. Um, but you do hear the two loud explosions downstairs. Am I near, like, the top of that page that we could maybe not be seeing where exactly I you would am. essentially be right here on the second ah. story ah okay never mind um i think the loud booming is piquing my interest a little more than anything else so i'll start making my way to the staircase i guess i don't want to dash into anything quite yet i want to um <clears throat> Just prepare a dodge action. Okay, do you want to make your way towards the ramp that comes back down where everyone else went? Or do you want to like try to make it to these stairs where, because you know these stairs are there, you walk through here. So what uh, you down, I, would you like to try to go? I would like to go where everyone else went. So the ramp. And you'd like to Unless I don't know that. Would you like? You said you'd like to prepare a dodge, then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll just have to move you. All right. I have your career at. And that's the end of your turn. Yeah, I guess so. Where is he? Uh, where? Where am I? Exactly, Adonis. You're up. <laughs> yes. Um. Perfect. Uh, more dragon's breath coming your way. Dude, you're gonna so, hit like four of them. I DC hope. 14. As long as I hit that, I think I could hit three. I don't know. What? Uh, so you're, you need to make sure you want to hit the druid. Yeah, that's the main target. So you know what? You yeah, hit I mean, three. yeah, that's for that's sure. what I'll go for. So oh, DC 14 for you. You would even get this guy too. I'd love it. You know, I'd love to hit as many as possible. <laughs> 
Oh, and, uh, the, yeah, no, you're, yeah, you're, you're gonna hit all three of those. I'm fine hitting just three anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm mainly concerned about that. I'm locked in on the druid. Sure. Um, I'll just roll the, I'll roll the damage. Can then... I get a, can I get a sound effect, man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first, we got a natural one, a ten, and then a twenty. All right, so it's 13 fire damage. Uh, so reduce the half for one of them. But you go ahead. Get him. Go get Go get him, but goddess. I believe in you. How much? Oh, you said 13? Yeah. Okay. Boy, it yeah. sure does smell like burning over there. Yeah, he did. So Adonis, oh, we did. Adonis lets out this this deep guttural roar, and this red fire energy comes and engulfs the a huge portion of this this small cellar, actually catching part of this wine rack on fire, um, just completely singeing two of these dry looking evergreen plants. You um, dry boys. Anything else? Crusty to do your turn? Uh, that's about it for me. Uh, well, I could, uh, shuffle around to the others. No, I'm not going to do nothing. That's it. All right, who's your next turn? What are you doing? Oh, uh, dude, I'm out for blood. Bring me in, uh, directly to the, like, l right of that, uh, red boy there. Okay. As I just scream out in a rage, and I'm just going to, you know, I'm reckless attack. <laughs> All right. I'm mad. You lit me up. You die. Go ahead, go ahead and make an attack with advantage. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, natural hey. 20. Ooh. Okay. Uh, do you... R.I.P. <laughs> you roll an extra die when you... Yeah, so I can get... Can I get 3d12s. No, that one's all the time. Okay. I get 3d10, or d12. So I'll do... That's a big hurt. With my rage, so plus two on that. Here we go. Frick. <laughs> so it's 19 plus five, 24, and then I get an extra d12 for the perk, plus two. So 26 points of slashing damage. That's a big oh, ouch. Fuck my damage. 26 points of slashing damage? You wrecked, boy. Wolfsbane, right in the chest, right in the sternum. Oh, no, it, yeah, it is. Please don't name it Druidbane. <laughs> <laughs> I shall change its name. <laughs> Wait, did you... Oh, you rolled a two. Shouldn't it be 28 points? Because you're plus, uh, plus, uh, plus two, two for rage. The plus two doesn't get a plus. Uh, the... Wait, did I not hit my rage plus two? Well, it's it's you... so you gotta... Critical plus two. I thought you. I thought you rolled this two for your third die tw or die twelve. Yeah, I did. So I had a, a nine and a ten for nineteen. Plus five uh, so it should be twenty four. Plus two for your third d twelve. Oh plus yeah, plus two, two for, for rage. rage. So that's a uh, twenty eight points of slashing damage. Yeah, I think the two was already in there though. The two is our your strength is. Three? Plus three. My strength is plus three. The two, oh, okay. That's why it says plus five. Because you see where it says next to the critical, it says plus two. Yeah. I just put the little, there's yeah. the little plus two at the bottom I already turned on. So yeah, no, I it's just, just 26. I okay. thought you were really strong. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Just, uh, Thank you. You're a soy you. boy, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, want, you want to describe this one, Gudrun? I'm just going to, I'm just going to, like, hit him so hard, the axe just implants into the chest of this druid and then I'm just gonna like push him to the ground or when he falls to the ground I'm just gonna like take my boot and just and pull the axe out as just the blood or whatever his insides are just kind of <laughs> squirts out and I'm gonna look forward at the smaller bros behind it and I'm just gonna yell I'm just gonna Ugh. well you pull your axe out of the chest and you see that there's this much skinnier creature than you it's crimson the blood comes out crimson um, it is a humanoid, very much like yourself. Um, there's just this, this completely obliterated, like, caved-in chest. 
all the ribs broke under the impact and there's just this gaping void in the middle of its chest and you scream and these, you watch this like spit and foam come out of Gudrun's mouth and fling out in front towards these creatures. Oh, I forgot. I have to do this too. Bonus attack. Six or a lightning strike at the, the little creature behind him. Is that, so that's a bonus action to do that? When I first use the rage, it, nice. it triggers the storm aura, but then okay. I can, as long as I'm raging, I can use that as a bonus action. Gotcha. So, uh, which one? Just the one right in front of me, and it's actually only a 13 save. I was is wrong. Is it a straight before. line, or is it just one target? That is just any tar one target uh, within oh. 10 feet. Well, this one eight. is. That's an 8, so it's uh, full damage. Alright, 4 damage. Is it lightning? You hear a loud. Right after. Um, <laughs> so many booms. You just, you just <laughs> watch Gujan scream at this, this creature. Um, it's it's looking rough. Like its branches are kind of burnt from the the impact of the lightning. Um, Ismark is just going to try to stabilize Irina, and that's a natural one, so that's not going to help. Uh, Helena, what are you doing? Helena, um, hearing all this, I'm getting really concerned for Gudrun and uh, Adonis. Something must be going terribly wrong. <laughs> um, Some around that corner very quickly and I'm going to shoot an Eldritch Blast at the first tree thing I see. I guess the one in front of Adonis. So I guess I'll move in position to attack the one in front by Adonis. Gotcha. Eldritch Blast! Just like that. And it's an 18 to hit. Nice. It'll do a oh. whopping one damage to it. Oh god. Nice. I should create a bonfire under it. <laughs> that would help. Actually, yeah. So, uh, a little green speck of energy comes from my fingertip. Thinner than a hair. It hits the tree. And it you, shrugs. You, you see, like, you see Helena look at the, the tree in the back of her finger, confused, expecting more to happen. Um, is that the end of your turn? <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'll look around after that and realize that things are probably A-OK, -okay, so it's OK. OK, Irina performs a death save. Gosh, God help Irina, please. Um, Man, a lot happened up there in a turn. Yeah, they really fucked up. Well, little... one, was, one was preparing to happen when we ended. So, and the really, they goofed. And the really high initiative caused the this to get way worse than I thought it would. Um, I live and die with Adonis, so... <laughs> I'm glad, because I could not have taken all that damage. These creatures just kind of move around a little bit, and they're all actually... Well, the, the two top ones are going to fire at you, Gudrun, and then the bottom one is going to attack I, I knew it. I knew it. That's a natural one and a natural 20. <laughs> on me, okay. The twenty, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna say that hits. Um, uh, so that's twenty-one points of piercing damage reduced to ten. All right. Time for rage. Well, I'm. That's all mine. So my relentless endurance is is gonna kick in, and I only fall to one health instead of zero. Oh my. Um, you just see this like pure will of Gudrun overcome him as he starts to lose consciousness. He just grits his teeth and foam still is pouring out of his mouth, gripping Wolfsbane. And I actually, as a reaction because of my Orcish Fury, I get to make an attack immediately after I use my Relentless Endurance. Uh, yeah, as a there's, reaction. There's Can nothing, I do that? There's, there's nothing in melee with you. It just says one weapon attack. Does that... Okay. You'd have to move, right? He yeah, can throw yeah. a hand axe. Can't oh, yeah. He's out of those. I, I have a javelin, though. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to throw my javelin. Just going to whip it at him. He's like a whole fucking Four, track team. Eight, <laughs> <laughs> 18. 18. 18 hits. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, which one were you attacking? Um, just, uh, which one just hit me? This one. Then that one for sure. Sure. 
we're gonna throw that javelin. Sunk for seven points of damage. Piercing. Out of your rage, you just muscle this javelin and it goes right through the trunk of this small tree, piercing the barrel behind it. It falls, mm -hmm. it falls and splits into two. Just kind of mm -hmm. on the ground. Um, two for Gudrun. Adonis. That's a 17 to hit. <laughs> Aww. It hits. That is eight points of slashing damage as these two claws go right across your face and neck. Blood is trickling right down under your eye, down your neck. You can feel the warm blood like start to pull in your, your deep clavicle. Uchi. Uh, Callie would be up. Callie? Uh, is God, Callie saved the day. She Magda. doesn't want to get stuck in the vines. Hey, uh, bud. <laughs> is there a way for her to like I don't really know any avenues. I don't know how open this area is with the, the run, large barrels run or whatever. Over by the, run over by the stairs. I was going to well, go that way, but I don't so, know how much... So, like... this is all balcony. The stairs come down over here. And oh, is she these... up? No, they're, they're underneath the balcony. They're down here. So, she's also down here under the balcony. Yeah. Oh, I was mistaken. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's what I thought. So, I wanted to... Just... Hmm. I just didn't know what avenues I had to get through there without going through the vines. Uh, like, I don't know any distances on this, I guess. Well, so you got 10 feet to the vines, and then you got difficult terrain, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't even be able to make it to Arena without using... I just want to be able to see an enemy, I guess. I'm, I'm not looking at her. I'm looking oh, at... So, so you want to you wanna search this room? I could step into the vines just so I can get a look at the rest of that room over you, there. You'd see most of the room, yes, if you walked into those vines. So I guess I'll go into them. Just barely. Just, okay. you know, a you, step in. You still have 10 feet of movement. But, uh, I see nothing. Go ahead and make a perception check. Yeah. Come on, Callie. She's so good at these. Oof. Uh, that'll be uh, 16. You don't notice anyone else in this room currently. That's not a good thing. I don't know what druids know. Uh, I guess she'll just move the rest of her movement to the west. Sure. Or, well, she'll get away from the, the vats a little bit, I guess, or whatever, so yeah. she can try to see toward the balcony. I'll move right there. Yeah. And then, uh, if there's nothing in the area, she'll ready a, she'll ready a good old-fashioned fire bolt at, uh, the same thing she looked for last time, druid, woodland creature. Okay. So, as, soon as, boy. as soon as Callie gets into position, all of these vines just start to wilt and wither underneath you. And um, the vines that are Damn. like grabbing your ankles and going up your legs seem to like give way and just fall towards the ground. Man, you scared him. Yeah, Callie will think it's her. I'm sure. Hey, Bullio, what are you doing? Making your way downtown? Uh -huh. Moving fast. I Doesn't still am not the sure the where. Am I along the um, the balcony at all? Can no, I so, see down so below? There's this door right here that leads to <clears throat> stairs over here. Okay. Um, well, there's there, there's stairs up above that uh, lead. Wait, I'm on the third floor now. No, you're on the second. You're on the second floor. This is the cellar. This is the um, first floor. You're above. So you're essentially mm. right here, but above it. Okay. So there's. A staircase there that I can get down? Uh, so there's a, a door that leads to a staircase. Down? Uh, Does it lead to a balcony and a staircase? Us. So yeah, the, the staircase would lead down towards the uh, this, this floor down here. 
I just oh. forgot to draw it. There should be there should be stairs right here. Oh. Well okay. yeah, I'd like I'll go down those stairs. I know I need to go down from all the yelling that Gudrun's been making and all the bangs that I've been hearing. <laughs> A lot of banging going on. Lots of yelling. Lots of ripping and tearing. Playing and... Tree stump. Ripping in the trees. Tree Actually, there's... That's just a balcony, right? Yeah, it's just a balcony. There's no stairs. Mm. There's no stairs on the, on the first floor. I did this, I did this was... correct. So that door is onto the balcony? Yes. 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 Okay. I, I still... I want to go out that door. Okay. Onto the balcony. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay. So you move your full 25 feet, which would get you about here on the balcony. What? So I guess I can, I can put you there. I'm so confused by this balcony. Yeah, me too. I didn't know it went out that far. I thought the, I thought it was on the other side. Here. Yeah, I thought that, I thought it was the other side of the dotted line. Let me, let me show you. I'm just making it complicated because I'm not with the rest of the group. Yeah. Classic <laughs> booyah. That, that happens, though, you know? How did I even get up there? I don't know. You, you just were... didn't want to jump down and you didn't want to, like, participate, so you said, eh, and you just walked away. That sounds about right. I should have put that child <laughs> leash on you. You're like, you know, let's uh, look at this room. No one's looked at this room. <laughs> Yeah, I, I forgot that ever, I everyone to, jumped down, actually. I need to make some uh, some room for me to be able to, like, black out right now, so I'm going to step away. I think that was my thought process. Yeah. You had to take shots, so you clearly you had to go in the other room. And yeah. Say, like, clear it's some a, room and uh, then go take some shots. Okay, so the balcony is up by the cast, because <laughs> you go down and you put the things in them. Yep. Uh, wait a minute. What's the thing? Yeah. So, so where, 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 where am I on this? Is that extra stairs to go? You got it. Floor uh, one. No, we so, got floor two. Yeah. Stairs on the balcony. So, so the balcony is not all the way to the second floor. Yeah. So you would be like. Uh, I just see Ben now. Hello. Dude, oh my god. You'd be in this corner. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I just see, see your face. No, I, I can't really see them. All right, I'm going to um That was just... that would be 25 feet though. You could still dash. That would be 25 feet. Mm -hmm. I'll still dash and I'll go ahead and make my way downtown. Does this change dash. who I could have seen last time? Maybe. I don't I don't exactly remember. There we go. So you're gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You'll be right at the top of the stairs. Nice. Okay, anyways. Oh my goodness, that was a mess. I'm sorry. I'm glad we figured yeah, this okay. out whenever I could get attacked. I'll have to, I'll have to, I, uh... I'm kidding. I'll have to consult my artist next time. Your artist. Yeah. Let's, let's do this oh. for me. I, got, I, got I think it's not the artist, but the guy who's trying to interpret it. And you yeah, know, yeah, I, think, I think that's actually true with the main excuses. So. Uh, but Adonis, it's fine. you're up in the cellar. Hello. Uh, I'm going to... I got one in front of me, one's over there. So oh, are you guys seeing the map on Skype? No. Okay, I just want to make sure that this... <laughs> I see Jesse. <laughs> So what? I, I remember. Sorry, Jeff. I'm sorry, Jesse. I didn't want to say it, but I, I had to. I no, remember no, where no, things were. What if so, we didn't say anything? I kind of want to see it. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> when I saw him pointing to something, I'm like, uh. It was like Professor, or not Professor, the Wizard of Oz, the man behind the curtain. Oh, yeah. You get to, oh, yeah. You get to see it all, huh? Now we see the audio mixer. We see it all. Wow. What? Oh, shit. I showed the wrong screen. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. That's the one that's going <laughs> campaigns. We haven't had that for a while. I love it. I hate it. It's great. Everything's good. Adonis, what are you doing? 
<laughs> I'm hitting the one right next to me and hopefully getting the one behind it, but I don't give a shit. I'm just hitting that boy. Get out away from me. Uh, yeah, you can get a boat. Yeah, you know it. Uh, get this map out of my fucking I, face. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> the map, give whenever it. you share it, just it shows up so huge. So, okay, there, it's gone. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Let's, uh... Alright, I'll just roll the damage. Uh, 10 damage, DC 14. Oh, they both fail. And, uh, okay. Far the, damage. The one right in front of you disintegrates. Is that one damage? Push over the edge. Um, it would have died without you doing the one. Come on. Uh, Give me something. I didn't even, I didn't even <laughs> check its max health. I just said that <laughs> to make you feel bad. I mean, if it's vulnerable to fire, uh, no, that 21 could make it work. You do, not, just the right. you do not notice that they're they're reacting more violently to the fire than other creatures. Oh, tough guys, huh? Uh, the other one is still alive, though. Gudrun, you are up. It's alive. A move. He's All alive. Right. All right. You I'm know running gonna... up the ramp, by the way. You're gonna what? I'm <laughs> running away with... up the ramp. Well, there's one. You got this. Leave me with one health. All right. Charge. Reckless attack. Oh Jesus. Oh man. All those creatures. The creature that got a one should have had a advantage yep. on you. Yep. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking. All right. Here we go. And oh, Adonis, yeah. no, Adonis lit a torch, or, or no, Callie sent her dancing lights. Yeah, but then here. when she ran away, they have to be near her. Yep, they should have went out. So uh -huh. you should have, well, no, because they're just deck saves. You would have been fine. You're lighting up the place with fire. This is kind of on fire, too, so. Congratulations. We're all good. Anyway. We'll talk our way around it. Yep, uh, good turn. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> do your thing. 24 to hit. 24, uh, definitely hits. Okay, and 11 damage. Oh, yeah. Slashing. So, uh, how do you want to take this tree down? Nobody I'm just going to, I'm going to like, you know, like anime style, just like, so, 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 like in like little white lights, and then all of a sudden it just like, <laughs> shit, it's, it's like, like in the threes, threes. <laughs> I wield it like it's a, a very swift, I'm a, I'm a man, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's just like some oh, like three pieces sexism. and then it falls apart. Yeah. Growing sexism. I'm sorry. He's gonna buy I'm a sword in the shop now. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. Come after me. <laughs> okay. I'm a man. I'm, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm 40. Real quick. I'm 17. Um, uh, Helena, what are you doing? Freaking. Uh, I guess. Realizing this is dealt with, it, thanks to my help, <laughs> I'm going to follow Adonis up the stairs to see what other lives I can save. God, I hope nothing attacks me while I'm down here with one health by myself. Uh, do you want to continue past <laughs> I, Me too. Yeah, Jeez. I'll dash into the, the barrel room. Okay. Hey, All I'm close right. enough by, I'd hear it. And come die with me. No, 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 no. So, Irina is going to make a death save. Live, damn you. Oh my gosh, you rolled a 10, which is a success. Yeah. Yeah. But she has, the crowd goes she wild. Has two fails. <laughs> Man, imagine if Helena got there just in time to watch uh, Irina <laughs> die. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> This he mark is so useless. Why can't he stabilize her? Jesus. He's rolling. Don't really let like Helena say that. <laughs> How convenient is it when the NPCs roll bad for death saves and the creatures attack real hard? What? I missed a ton. There was just six creatures. Anyways. Uh, so let's, let's, just, let's just go through the list here. Cali, hey, you Ludo, do. Adonis. Callie. Oh. She doesn't, but she'll go try to help Irina. She has, she has a healer's kit. 
I don't know that. I don't have her inventory. Oh, well, go ahead and, uh, yeah, she's just stabilized because she has a healer's kit. Doesn't have to make her Congratulations, roll. Irina. You, Jesus. You, 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 oh, no, we see everything. Oh, I get all the power. Oh, God, it said error. Uh, <laughs> okay, everything's good now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Jeez, her AC is low. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right. Congratulations, Irina. Callie's stabilized you, and now she's wasted her turn. <laughs> she does have a potion of healing. Did you look at that? Knew it. Uh, or not, or call it. She ain't going to tell no Irina about it. No, sure. Give it to Helen and give it to Irina so that Ms. Mark likes her. Okay, so we are, we are out of combat. Thank God for the time being. Um, so we could we could freeform a little more. Um, well, can Callie assess how many hours it's going to take for Irina to freaking get the hell up? Jeez. Just... Imagine if Helena was saying these things. Well, make... Callie's not saying it. First off, make a make a medicine check. But you know it could be anywhere from one to eight hours. Eight. Don't you roll a D four? Yeah, isn't it a D four? Damn. I thought it was I thought it was a D six, but I was just gonna you just don't know the severity of things or the Oh boy, she got a nine. It could be one to eight hours because of <sighs> what you don't know and not metagaming the rules. I know a lot. And Callie knows a lot. Sure. <laughs> So, she knows yeah. so much that she got a nine. It is a D four, and I rolled a one, so it'll be an hour. Hmm. Um. All right. Well, she's gonna keep guard, I guess, near Irina, and then uh, she'll she'll have a, a good old fashioned firebolt ready if any, you know, <laughs> thing happens. She's not letting her guard down. She's not gonna hit Buyo. <clears throat> Julio's gonna saunter down this staircase, though. <laughs> hey! What's going on, everyone? How are you okay? <laughs> it's no, a little oh, no, more serious than just... Very good. No response. <laughs> huh? Huh? Julio, you could've at least tried to get here a little faster. I... didn't want to die as much as all you didn't want to die. So I took a little bit of precaution. Strength um, in numbers, Buyo. I'm sorry I wasn't there at the beginning. I should have been. Yeah, where'd you go? I don't even know. <laughs> what? It's all a blur. It's all a blur. I went upstairs. People voted on things. It was crazy. <laughs> I, I, sure. Uh, <laughs> there was a hallway and a couple of doors, but I didn't go in any of them. I heard some loud bangs, so I came back down. Yeah. Is it weird hearing that from the other side? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Me neither. <clears throat> I'm gonna start heading towards the crew, if that's okay. Just because <laughs> stay in that I'm, basement. Though. I'm a little nervous right now. I mean, as much as my as my rage subsides and I come to terms with what real life is. I realize I am very injured, and I need the strength of my my company. Here's the the postcoitus clear mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I guess battle is like that for Gudrun. I don't know. Oh my god! Oh my god. No. Can you get some wisdom buff? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hey, bud. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, you all have no problem gathering into this room. Um, you do not know where this um, first creature that you startled went to or is at all. Um, but um, your time is. Took care of the first creature. Yeah, so there is a druid and a bunch of twigs yeah. in where you guys are right now. 
Oh, yeah, and oh. he ran and jumped down the stairs, and we chased him the whole way. Then, well, uh, then no, then you went upstairs, and you just saw one thing. Yeah, that's one one, chase one druid. It jumped down and went somewhere. Um, some of you went down to the cellar to find it. Sure, um, that might have been the one. We could have just found the one that was just already in the cellar. And then some Ismark and Irena broke off and went to the left and got themselves in a heap of trouble. Hmm. So there might be a troublemaker about still. Well, gang. Want to go to the festival? I'm hurting too. I could use a bit of a break if we are able to spare time and find a safe place to rest, but nevertheless, I'm ready to push on if you need me to. I'm cool with just. Uh... Can we just chill for a little bit? Yeah, do we want to, like. Hmm. What about that first room we were in? I can set my trap back up. <clears throat> It's a tight space. Um, if we're allowed to go in there, you know. You'll risk the possibility of not getting a... Yeah, we weren't able to get a, uh, any sort of rest while we were right. in there. We were in there oh, yeah, that's right. Too. Yeah, you're, you're putting about that. seven people in a five by ten foot space. I mean, we could have... Yeah, it's five we, by ten, so it's two. We deep. could get real close and real comfortable if y'all want to. I think we could, we could set people up to like watch in more advantageous areas. I don't know if the balcony's better to hang out in, or don't they know where we're at? Yeah, I so I'd say come... this is the worst possible place because you got the balcony and like three entrances, I think, to this room right now. What about the cellar? What was what else was in in there? Nothing. We would just be trapped. Isn't that kind of what we want? Well, on the on the south mm. part, there was a like an alcove that continued that looked like it could continue or end. There wasn't very much light. We also left it on fire. It was True. it was smoldering and going out. It was a very small fire. Um, a comfortable fire. Who started the fires? We did. Me. I murdered plants. Good job, it was Donna. always burning. But as the world was turning, um, so we're all agreeing not this room, not this room, bad idea. Okay. Maybe the cellar. Someone would need to be brave and explore. Me and I, if we all stick together, that'd be great. I mean, in the meantime, I can maybe heal Irina a little bit and get her back to life. It might be a good option. I think I should. It would be much appreciated, Helena. Huh. When is Mark? I don't know what Callie would. Do. I don't know if Callie would use the. Helena's going to cast Healing Spirit, and out of nowhere, a bullywug uh, climbs out of the vat and crawls over to Arena. Can they hang out? The vat of wine, the barrels. <laughs> he had to come from somewhere. So it lasts a minute? Yes. And you can move it how far as a bonus action? Uh, I can cast it 60 feet away, and then it moves 30 feet on my turn. At the side of the bullywog, Booyah is going to start looking yeah, really 30 feet. haggard and kind of iron. iron. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like... Oh. So you, can, you can move at how far? 30 feet. Okay. So essentially, you can heal as many. You, I'm, I'm going to allow you to use this to where you have a full minute, 10 rounds, to heal 1d6, however you'd like to distribute it. Uh, let's give two Tyrena. Okay. <clears throat> we'll start there. Five. Five total. <laughs> Eh, she ain't dying no more. Okay. We'll give... You said 10? Yep. 4 to Gudrun. Oof. 15. That's better. 1 in there. And... 2 to Booyah. 
be. Two to Adonis. Please be good numbers. <clears throat> eh, he got average. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the bullywog climbs back into the vat of wine. Please make it wave before it goes. No. <laughs> His job is done. Just... His job is done. He's very serious. <laughs> not even a nod. Not he's even a little thing. annoyed that he's here right now. <laughs> Keep waking um, up. Awesome. So, it's, it's Mark is looking fairly rough. Um, but he just, like, he just thanked you for helping Irina. And she's, like, kind of coming to, still halfway out of it. And Ismark just kind of has her her head resting, like, just above his knee. It's... You know what? I'll go pat Ismark on the back and give him a good old cure wounds. Wow. Because I feel like I neglected him. That's That's very gracious of you. And he'll get 11 health. Dang. That's pretty good. What a guy. What a gal. Yeah, wow. He you said 11. Sexism. He it's 11 out too. I'm yeah. being bad tonight. <laughs> That's the second most healing anyone got. It's true. He he like he said that was very gracious of you, so... He's appreciative. <laughs> no, no, I'm just... Cure Wounds is stronger than I thought. Because it has a spellcasting modifier on it. So what is what is the, what's what's the plan here? Um, I didn't run through any great rooms. I mean, all I've heard so far is the cellar. Uh, I don't know if anyone dislikes going into the cellar. The cellar was pretty damn <laughs> uncomfortable. I would be okay in the, in the cellar. That settles it. Let's go to the <laughs> cellar. That settles it. We will check the last remaining area, unknown in the darkness. I'll trail behind with Helena, as I assume Helena will be trailing behind. Adonis uh, will uh, do make assumptions. Really quick break. Yeah, I just I just need a marching order, and then we're gonna take a break. So. Oh, okay. You know I'm number one, baby. Gudrun. So right we got Gudrun. I live and die with Adonis. Adonis, <laughs> right behind Gudrun. Yeah. Oh my God! Find a room. <laughs> <laughs> We want you to watch. His little uh, his little voice makes me happy. <laughs> Ismark will go next, and Irina's Tune gonna follow Sunday. Ismark. Uh, the rest of you, I got. I need three more. Cali, Buyo, Helena. Uh, yeah, yeah. How far back are you gonna hang, Helena? Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. Just normal. I mean, not any extra back because I know we're going to rest. Not uh, to fight. Are you going? Are you all the way in the back, Helena? Yeah, definitely last. Okay, then Kelly will probably hang out by Helena because they normally do that, and then Booyah. Sound good? Sounds yeah. good. Gudrun, Donis, yep. Ismark, Arena, Booyah, Kelly, Helena. All right. Yep. With that, everyone, go ahead and take a quick bathroom break. Um, trying to make it a strict like five minutes though, so we can uh, keep this rolling. Push as hard as we can. Chloe is laying back down. Oh, is that her name? Just kidding. She's hype again. Um. So you all, you all make your way back into the skinny hallway, down the uh, the the ramp with the grooves just um, like permanently scarred into the hardwood from barrels rolling up and down this ramp. You make it back to the bottom. You see the slightly charred um, wine rack. You see little pieces of glass all over the ground in a pretty large puddle of red wine. And you are all down in this lower part of the cellar. It is freezing. It's it's frigid. It's not, I wouldn't say it's free, literally freezing cold, but it's very cold in the cellar, a huge temperature drop. You're all on the southern part of the wall, um, and any of you without dark vision can't I really see anything. I was gonna say, thing. while we're going down, I cast light on <clears throat> the orb I'm carrying. Okay. You try to cast light on this orb, it goes light for a second, 
and then immediately dark. Ah, fuck you, Orb. Uh, <laughs> I will. I don't know. Cast on something else I've got on me. Let's see. How big of a thing can it do? I've got a quarter staff. <clears throat> let's let's make a bright ass quarter staff. <sighs> yeah. So like a like a beacon like Gandalf the White, his whole staff lights up and uh, you, illuminating the majority of this um, eastern chamber of the cellar. Um, you see so, three yeah. three barrels, one with a, a javelin sticking out of it on the north wall and then a this wine rack um so i it's a 20 foot radius light so how big is this room how's the ceiling look the ceiling's about uh nine like probably like eight or nine feet tall is there any shard air Holes. I was like, I'm sorry. What is there any air? It's, it's all around you. What do you mean air holes? Like any kind of vents or anything? Uh, no, there's not really any vents down here. Um, the room is a thirty. Yes, yeah, thirty feet by twenty feet. So, like I said, the majority of this room is lit up. Yeah. Okay. Um, or this. I'll chamber. walk into the middle of it and kind of rest my lit quarter staff on the rack so it can illuminate the room. Into the middle of the room, like heading north? Uh, or northwest, just, towards the middle of the rack? Yeah, uh, just, yeah. With the rack is in the middle, right? Yeah. So I'll get to the middle of the, the rack. Yeah, 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 and you're gonna rest your light there, so or your staff there so the whole thing's lit up. Yeah. Um, as you head towards the rack, you feel the room grow significantly colder with each step you make. That's good. Um, you guys, yeah. you guys feel that? Can I grab my dra my uh, my javelin as we head that way? Don't, th don't yeah. they chill these places for the wine? So none of you actually feel it get colder. Only Adonis moving northwest. Oh. Gudrun, as you walk up to the um, barrel to pull up your wine, or pull the javelin out of the wine barrel, um, each step you make towards that north wall gets significantly colder, like 10 degree drops in each five feet you make towards that north wall. Can I tell if this is like from magic or if it's anything was, like, or is this just... His attack magic skills are... Make I was gonna ask the same, but uh. So you can you can either help Gudrun or you can make separate intelligence rolls. I'd I'd like to make a separate. Role. It's probably smarter. <laughs> just just a straight just a straight D twenty plus your intelligence modifier. Oh, so not Arcana. Nope. Uh. So it's a nineteen plus four, so twenty three. Um, mine's eleven. <laughs> um. It's getting a lot colder for you, Gudrun. Uh, it seems to be coming from the north direction. Adonis, this doesn't feel like it has a magic source. It feels more natural. Okay. I should have made the old nature but it check. Is, it is much colder than it should be. Just you said for it's being, from the north. Just for being 10 feet underground. Yeah, each, each step north you make in this chamber, it gets colder. Is there a so, door or a passageway towards the north? There's just a, a wall that I'm oh. up. What oh. the? I'm going to touch the wall. Lick it. It's, I'm, it's literally freezing cold to the touch. I'm going to smell, like I'm gonna smell the wall. <laughs> it uh, smells like a damp cellar. I have advantage on smell perception. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead and make a, make a perception check. I just really want you to describe it more. <laughs> oh my god, where is this? Okay, hold on. Where that at? Gills, there we go. Better get your similes ready. <laughs> oh. uh, one and a, and a two. 
So a zero and a two. So a zero and a two. <laughs> the uh, I'm the worst wolf ever. The carved <laughs> the carved out cellar from the earth feels cold and clammy like a subterranean cellar may feel <laughs> but more extreme the cause the cause is unknown to you I'm what, just what are you doing like Gudra? it smells I'm like you gonna... smell the wine on the floor too okay. you guys just see me go like face to face with the wall and just like <laughs> We're in a cellar. He's finally okay. <laughs> it's constant with this guy. I guess I scratch Gudrun's head and say, "Good boy." I don't know. Like, <laughs> you, um, but this is a. I'm just gonna. I'll get away from the north wall and go to the south wall. It's very cold. And then sit down and assume that we're gonna rest here is this the only there's no doors other than the exit to the west and the east right uh yeah there's well there there is an opening a ramp and see. some stairs oh there's there's no stairs on the on the west um oh that would shit. be further that way there's, yeah. there's a door right here uh oh and then there's yeah there's just an opening over here you can't see past it um, there's a large support beam right here, or well, mm -hmm. it's just it's just carved around it probably for support, and then this ramp that goes up. Oh, so the cellar extends into <laughs> another kind of room, maybe. Okay. Uh, I, I who like wants I to go to... with me to explore there's also this a... area to make sure it's safe? I will. Support beams. Okay. If you if you check that room, or wait, are you checking the hall or that little? Uh, yeah, I'm taking the light with me, and I'm checking over over here. I point toward the west. Okay. Okay. I'll come with you. I'll I'll check south. I'll follow. Do the two beef boys. Let's go. <laughs> beef boys. Beef. Time to. Where's the beef? So you walk over and you reveal. A empty wine rack, um, hmm. some more support pillars, and a stairwell that heads up. Hmm. Well, yeah, just there's, essentially the opposite. There's side. more way up. So, what's the, the cellar? What's the floor made of? Is it just dirt floor? Yep. I forget. It's a nasty, Dude, nasty why does floor. It, why can't Helena just freaking make a dirt wall? <laughs> Helena. <laughs> Why used, you your, used your dirt molding abilities and closed this room off so we may find rest. We need air. But leave a little room for, you know. I'll so leave the way we came breathe. in open. But the rest, I'll, I'll dirt wall the new way. I'll make sure to get back in the room before you do it. Or are you closing off where the stairs are? Or are you closing off? I'm closing off where the new entry is. So the north part. Well, I guess I can just close off the whole west room that we just revealed. Yeah. So I'll walk back in where we where I just was and. Yeah, we'll go back to the murder room. Yeah, where all the murder <laughs> is. We could go in the clean room or the murder room. Yeah. No murder room. Yeah, there's smell the victory. There. There's a dead body, humanoid body that's already like dirty. Slightly small. Is it? That's a dirt floor too. And then there's a bunch of like just. Broken you know, I want to chill creatures. in here just in case Gudrun wants to make himself something. I don't know. Yeah. So he you know, dirt that. wall. I also might bury the druid. You know, it's druid code. And by might, I mean I will. I will <laughs> bury the druid. Okay. The it, druid it's code? druid code. You start moving cubes to to make a pit. Takes you a few minutes. It's kind of hard yeah. to navigate. It's like a small area. It's only 10 feet tall, too. So it's not like you can stack very well. Yeah. But, I don't also buries things standing up vertically. So it's true. You know, code. Dang uh, it. While you're, while, you're moving, <laughs> while you're moving things around, uh, you make a perception check for me? Ooh, this is where I find Captain Willie's treasure. <laughs> 
Yeah, no one's searching the bodies. What kind of crew are we? Oh gosh, you're right. Ten. As you're walking around, moving large mounds of dirt, cubes of dirt, excuse me, um, you notice that though several of the bottles of wine on this rack exploded, there are several still intact. How many is several? More than six is what I'm getting at. Much more than six. Oh, that's nice. Helena has no desire for wine. Just let um, you just let you know what you notice. Okay, then all right. Yes, Mark, let's check that bottom that south room out before before Helena gets too ahead of herself here. He he <laughs> takes he takes your lead and just begins to open the door. Beef boys. <laughs> Beef boys doing some beef. <laughs> you reveal a staircase. That is, the walls and the stairs are just covered in moss. They're like Ooh. they're super deep stairs. Um, Going down or up? Up. Mm, I'm not interested in another floor. Too much information. <laughs> and then I'm gonna leave. I don't like this. Nope. I don't like this. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the guy get it out of the camera the dark. I was, I was <laughs> trying to get it in the camera. Get it out! I don't want it anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's the last time we ever saw that. I'm gonna put my axe on the ground and have a seat. So we're taking, you continue to build a barricade and you're going to take a rest. Mm -hmm. That's the hope. All right. We're better fighters when we're cornered. Do we know what time it is? Mid to late afternoon, probably, but you're underground and have been inside for a while. Um, actually, it's definitely later than late afternoon because it, it got dark in the uh, winery. You do know it's dark outside. I'll give you that. As I had to come to that conclusion through talking my way through it. Mm. Remembering is hard. I'm gonna use some hit die. Yep, whatever hit dice you did not use the last time you short rested, you may use now. Never used any. I've only taken one wound. As we are uh, taking I'll use one. one. I'm gonna start whistling a tune, and it's gonna sound something like a spaghetti western intro. Uh, credit tune. The very Spaghetti plain. Western. Everyone also gets one d six because of my whistling, though. Yeah. Can you do that? Almost. Can you do that once, more than once per long rest? Because you did it last time we rested. Did we? Um. But we didn't rest last time, did we? You yeah. you rested in the little closet, and he played very quietly, and I allowed it. Oh, that's it right. Just that's says right. during a short rest. It doesn't say only do it once. All right, I just needed to make sure. I just didn't, didn't know, so. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't either. Damn it, I got one wound left. No. I have three hit die left. Bro, I have no hit I die, die and oh, I'm still yeah, wounded. <laughs> Oof. Can That's I donate a hit die? So it happens when you're a beefy boy. It's you right, just... got the most healing, too. I know, oh, I, I, I have plenty. I'm, I'm good. I just oh, booyo. Poor Booyo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have I have three dice to roll and I rolled an eight total. Let's see, does Callie need anything? Are you I, for no, real? Callie oh, is like no. she keeps running into things and not getting hurt. Look at her. Do you have spell slots left? <clears throat> Who? You. Yeah. She does. Callie. She does. You're just holding you're hoarding them, which is no, probably she's good. Been using them. But I can't rage anymore, so it's fine. Yeah, I can't do anything besides cantrips and smack things with a staff. Wait, does she only get three sorcery points? Yeah, I can only smack I think she's supposed to have four, and I just didn't do it right. Oh, okay, yeah. She's got one of those. Cool. <laughs> um, she she, I can make she would have used people. all four, though. She'd used all. She should be out. Sure. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Uh... I used the Arcane Recovery, boop, checkbox, recovered a second level spell for me. Yee yee. Adonis feels great. 
Do I have arcane recovery set up for you to click off? Yeah, I did. Okay. I just didn't know if I set it up. I was missing some things. Also, Helena, I forgot to tell you I added things to your inventory. Oh, good. I've been looking at some of them, like the poison wine. I was just looking. I just wanted to make sure I told you. Thank you. <clears throat> so your long rest in this very frigid room, we're talking like... Even on the south wall? It's like 40 degrees on the south wall. Ah. It's, well, then, it's very close to freezing, even on the south wall. I will make a small blanket with my minor conjuration for myself. <laughs> uh, it's only three by three, so it's, yeah. which is still a yard by a yard. So you know, that's a yeah, it like covers your waist to your feet. You know, I make keep it my core warm. You know, no, 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 no. I don't want to get my magically. Uh, Summoned blanket dirty. I could always just create a bonfire. Oh no, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> Oxygen, we don't need that. No, yeah, true. So, you finish your short rest. Um, all of you feeling somewhat to significantly better. I recast light on my quarter staff. Is it less than an hour or 10 minutes? It's an hour. When we went in, was there a door to the north, or is it just the staircase in the western room? There is. Well, do you want to make an investigation check, just as you're looking around the room? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Always happy to throw one of these. Uh, 29? Nice. <clears throat> So looking around, um, you notice every single detail in this tiny little room. <laughs> what a fucking, curse. Fucking 29. Um, Make sure he notices Helen has bugs and scales. Uh, he's been noticing. <laughs> Too uh, much. Uh, the smell of her mouth breathing. <laughs> Could you come sniff this? So you um, find three barrels. All of them are starting to like grow frost just on the side pressed against the wall. Um, or frost is like starting to overtake the barrels. Um, they're all full and emblazoned on them is grape smash number three. That's a good one. There's exactly 23 bottles of um, what is it? Red Dragon Crush bottles that are still intact on this wine rack. Um, there is the stairs, the swivel stairs on the west wall that lead up, the ramp that lead up that leads up on the east wall. There's the stairs that lead up in the room to the south, and also there is a small natural door that is very hard to notice right in the center of what? this. Um, At 29, though. Guys! <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate voice crack of Adonis. There's a door here. <laughs> what door? I see no door. Come over. I'm gonna like wait till Gudrun gets over. I'm gonna like I uh, push it in. It's pretty hard to actually push open. It barely fits your form. Um, and there is a natural just kind of cavern here. And as soon as you push it open, the frost just hits you. It is, this is ex definitely the source of um, what, whatever, whatever source here is causing uh, the room to be freezing cold. Um, there's just a short tunnel and then you can see like a small natural cavern. That's freaking dope. Mm. I want to explore. Light my ax up. <laughs> I, all right, if you'd prefer your axe over my quarterstaff. I'm going to lead the way. All right, I light his axe, and he can squeeze in there. 
Uh, make a strength. Squeeze my. Make a strength check. Squeeze my fat. Me? Yeah. All right. Hey, you squeezing? <laughs> Twelve. You push and you push and you get one leg in. And you one <laughs> leg. You continue to push. I mean, he's a he's a big guy, and you finally push through and like kind of the natural door crumbles around you making a slightly bigger hole where you won't really be able to <laughs> to close it afterwards uh i see you made a made a door for all of us gudrun uh you're welcome and he slaps you on the shoulder and like laughs a little <laughs> You can feel the warm breath of his laughter on the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was killing me today. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're in the base of this room. What would you like to do? I'm just going to walk in and I'm going to smell. <laughs> just want to uh, see what the air can tell me. Good one slowly going blind. Where, <laughs> where would you like to check out? I'm just going to walk right up that hallway, like into the center of that cavern and just kind of get a lay of everything. Just look around, see what I can see, smell, hear, anything. Just stand still. Okay, take a step. And still, every step you take towards this north wall, it feels colder and colder. You're right at the edge of this small corridor where the cavern starts to open up. You can see it's just another... 10 feet of cavern at the full, like the, the furthest point in the cavern and it's narrow on the edges. <clears throat> um, you would have to get a little closer to like fully investigate the walls or anything, um, but you can see this entire cavern. All right, I'm just gonna start looking up and down the walls, you know, moving my hands, can find investigating. All right, make an investigation check. I am not the one to do this. Nope. Should have had it. I'm gonna go come out and be like, "There's nothing," and then Donis will just do it anyways. Cool, cool. Light my axe. Seventeen. Seventeen. That's uh, good for me. So you're looking around and you notice that like, there's a there's definitely something that's living, um, growing on the walls. And you walk up and um, you go over to touch it. And it is unbearably cold as you you walk up to this. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're talking like negative 20 at this point. Oof. Ouch, my hairy hands still don't like this. And you go to touch the wall. Oh my god. And you take 28 points of cold damage. Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> it's a good thing I used all those hit die. 28? Oh my god. Do I lose my freaking finger? <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. Good thing you didn't touch the wall, Adonis. I won't go to touch it. His investigation check would have been a little bit better. He'd been fine. 23. 23. Um, yeah, you're fine. So. Thank <laughs> God. Just lost all that. Um, so actually, that's you're going to take half because of that. So you can add 14 hit points. Sorry. Fair um, enough, fair enough. And uh, so you're you're looking around. Go. Yeah, if I'd have touched that, I'd have been down. Um, <laughs> you do have, have, having touched this now, um, you have heard of a, a brown mold that is, can, can grow in like cold, dark places, or just dark places. Um, and it looks like it's been transported here purposely to keep the cellar freezing cold. And you get the idea that maybe they were, they hid this door to try to keep people out of it for their safety. 
Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. My sensitiveness is a curse. Got it. I don't think I have any more interest in here. I'm going to leave and, and tell everyone I got hurt. That wall hurts. Don't touch it. It's really, really cold. And you're welcome to go check it out and if you want. I'm, I'm good. Does he mention anything about the mold? Yeah, I'll, I'll say like, you know, I recognize it's a mold and I'm basically delivering the information that the DM gave to you. Uh, Helena's eyes are going to light up. <laughs> <laughs> and she wants to go collect some mold in one of her glass bottles. Do you I want any it. instrument to help collect that mold? I would love an instrument other than the ones Booyah might have. Uh, uh, let me see. For. Let me see what. I have a glass bottle, and if I can have something to scrape. Yeah, I was looking to see what minor like conjuration can do, but I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. A long scrapey device. Uh, describe it to me, and I'll create it. Um, imagine a stick with a loop at the end that I can stick a glass bottle in and it'll hold the glass bottle still. So I can scrape the wall with I, like the glass bottle. I try to create that to the best of my ability. Make a arcana check. 20. Not natural 20. Uh, you do... You make a, a pretty good like... It kind of looks like a, a circle, like a cir uh, circle stand that you like put beakers on and stuff. Yeah. Uh, when you like under a Bunsen burner or something, um, but it just has a real tight neck to fit around a glass file, and it seems to fit pretty well. This is perfect, yeah. Adonis. Thank you. And you'll notice, like the object is like there's dim light coming from it. Wow! You even put a light on it i bedazzled it for you <laughs> oh my goodness do you still have empty vials i have two okay just making sure uh glass bottles glass bottles cool bottle bottle glass i, I should mention that'll disappear after an hour <laughs> yeah dm um <laughs> no that was for you I will go in and begin my scraping procedure and try to get as much brown mold into one glass bottle as possible. It is very hard to push forward into this super cold room. Um, I would like you, and you're trying to keep your, your distance. Um, the, he can only make something three feet long, though, and then he has to loop it, so you still have to get fairly close to the mold. So I'm just going to say, make a nature check. Oh, wow. 13. So you're able to scrape some mold. Um, it's proving to be a little difficult, though. Um, you, do have, you do have some flakes in your vial, or your glass bottle, but to continue you would have to risk getting closer. I continue. All right, make a, another nature check. You gotta risk it for the biscuit, 19. You get quite a, you get quite a bit of mold into this, this uh, glass bottle. You cannot withstand it any longer. You can continue to fill it, but you do know there will be repercussions at this point. Uh, I'll leave on that. On that note, I'm pretty satisfied. I I don't like the cold. The swamps don't get very cold. That was that was a very good roll though. It, it could have been a. It could have gotten pretty hairy there. It's alright. If I took the twenty eight damage, uh, I would take a nap. It, I mean, it could be more. It could be less. You never know. <laughs> Someone probably held his frozen corpse off that wall. So you do know. Uh, you will have to keep this out of any kind of sunlight to preserve it. Um, I mean, I would like to put it in my bag, 
it might be it might be best to try to cover it. I might I might wrap I'm gonna take I have fifty feet of rope. I'm gonna start wrapping up the glass bottle with it. That would help. Okay. Is I'm gonna use all fifty feet if I if that that might be too much, but <laughs> imagine like a rope ball and in the middle is a glass bottle. Sure. Okay. You you think this this will do do just fine. So um you can do your normal thing send me a text to add that all right if brown. it gets too cold i want actually to or actually you can just add brown brown mold i just wanted to point out does anyone think the cellar looks like like a person with a square head and like the ice is like kind of their hair and they've got like the wine rack is like <laughs> squinty eyes yeah, and then they got eyes. they got ears yeah, I see with it a, now. With a pierced eyebrow where the barrels are, three of uh -huh. them. <laughs> there you go. I can no longer... He's got uh, ears over here. Yeah, the I, stairs. Yeah, yeah, I can no longer unsee it. His, are they brain, his brain is, his brain is showing. Pimples. This is all I've been seeing. <laughs> his brain is showing. <laughs> there you go. Came down. Go ahead. Look at that for the rest of your life. I'm going to burn it. And then the, uh, the room above it is a four-eyed owl. Yep. <laughs> Stop. Wow. Wow. I see that. I definitely see that. That's the worst. <laughs> With like a million little feet. Oh yeah. Or is it's it? Great. Or it's is great. it two? Is it two two eyed owls? Well, it's kind of got his wings, <laughs> but his wings oh. kind of just like this, and he's just kind of you know. <laughs> 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 so Helen, Helena leaves. Um, there's nothing else of interest, unless anyone else would like to play with the brown mold. Um, I'm good. I'm not really into mold. What? What would? We, what would we like to do? All right, guys, and gals, and folk. This place is not. I, I'm not sure if it's rid of all intruders. Do we need to do a clean sweep? Yes. Ismark, what happened to the, what attacked you? Where did it go? When I, I got blown back with, with Irina as I was, I was pursuing this, this kind of small humanoid creature. It seemed to duck behind one of the, uh, one of the vats as I approached I heard this familiar bang from the from the cellar. I got thrown back, and at that point, I went and my my focus turned to Irina, who was unconscious next to me. That would go through the wall, wouldn't it? I I, I don't know where uh, I don't know where they went after. So did it f wait. Did it feel like it came from beneath you, or was it? Were you thrown back by the thing that you were chasing? I was thrown back. Harsh, dude. But um, when I did get up to to look around, I did. Or there, there was there was vines that seemed to to wrap around us and and keep me restrained there, at least until Kelly came to check on us, and they seemed to wilt away. Booyah, while you were. What were you doing? I was upstairs and I made it to a hallway with a couple of doors before I heard some thunderous booms that I may or may not have been familiar with. And I made my way back downstairs at that oh, so, they, so nothing ran past you, but do you think there's anything up there worth going through? I do think that there's something worth going through. I don't know what is up there though. There. I want to look until we make sure everything's dead, except for us in this place. Hopefully. Hopefully. I guess I'll lead. I guess I'll trail. I'm scared. But oh, I'm a... I'll follow. Oh, thank God. Beef boy number two is coming, all right. Okay, so we have Adonis, Helena, Ismark. I'll go next. Good Beefy right. boys stay together. Beef in the middle. Irina, uh, Booyah, Helena? Like a proper Helena. Yep. All right. I'll go in front of Irina. Okay. 
Irina, Jim, Mika. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna go up the stairs this time. Okay. All right, they uh, lead you up this uh, left or left or east western set. Jeez, <laughs> western set of stairs um, that with this door that opens up into the fermentation vat or like fermentation area with the fermentation vats. And does it keep going? It does continue upward. Uh, I'm gonna just keep going up. Going up, 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 up. Oh, I have to uh, do a quick. Ooh. I have to do a quick thing. I gotta do as much as I can to make you work. Sure, 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 sure. I like it. He, I mean, you just look so lonely. You, know, you, just, you need to get your hands on some stuff. I do. I do live with six cats, so I am pretty lonely. Uh huh. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah so Splat. This. What happened to the owl? <laughs> Aww. Aww. He's he looks better. Kinda. So looks you happy. make it to the owl looks like I got into some LSD. We're having a great time. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is all stuff you've seen here. Um, uh, I love his little hand. So, you, <laughs> you make it to the top of these stairs, and it's just a long, skinny corridor. Going down the corridor. Is it lit? It is not. It is now. Well, it is because hey. you're a staff. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to light that boy right up. And continue down the hall. Come on, is Mark. <laughs> so there is a door to your right and a door straight ahead. I'm going to go with the one straight ahead. Okay, okay. And actually, man, this is really wrong. Okay, that's my fault. Ah, oh. So you, you, make it to the, you make it to the corner. This door is already open for you. For me? Oh. And uh, there is another corridor here. Okay. Um. All right, every man for himself. I'm gonna start rifling through the room. Oh God, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go to the next room. I'm not about competition. No, yeah, that's the that's what I was doing. So yeah. you you run right into this room, right? <laughs> you immediately are squished. Uh, you die immediately. No saves. Uh, two barrels of wine fall on you. You take ninety-seven points of wine damage. But I have this feature that I didn't tell you about. This raging says I'm resistant alcohol. to wine damage. It's and called also raging alcoholism. Okay. I'm on the way so, in the hallway for everyone to finish their looting. We've never done this, so oh, I just wanted so, to. So, Gudrun, you ran into the next room? Yep. Oh, man. Skipping merrily. Everybody grab a room. Oh, you got beds made of stone? <laughs> Helen is just going to watch, eh? She, uh, does not like taking risks. Uh, so Adonis, oh. um, in your chamber, there is a desk, a chair, um, a tall wooden cabinet and a strange contraption that takes up most of the northern end of the room. Strange uh, panel. we'll get to that part okay. in a... A moment. Um, also accompanying you in this this room is uh, three creatures. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One appearing to be human, but it's so caked with dirt and mud that it's hard to know for sure. Her hair is full of twigs and her face hidden behind a veil of moss. She is rooting through the contents of the cabinet and haphazardly tossing them onto the floor. Sainties. Behind her <laughs> stands two creatures made entirely of dead vines. Hey, vines. 
Look <laughs> bad, beach. All right. Cool, cool. So this looks like a, a similar situation I've run into before. Um, Gudrun. <laughs> Um, there are two pairs of bunk beds that occupy this room. Against the west wall, there are four identical foot lockers. Locker number one. <laughs> I should have yelled dibs. What's right. behind locker number one? Uh, um, well, I think at this point, we're just going to have to uh, have everyone roll on this <laughs> Okay. I, I still want you to just calmly go through things. I don't want to disturb your your rifling. Only once people start. When I hear commotion, I will react properly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Booya. How's it going? But very later in the game, my initiative is very low. <laughs> I like how Gojrin's going to block this hallway for everyone else to turn. He went out of the way. I'm out of the way. That's his. Oh, one. you are. You're right. You're fine. I'm thinking. Don't worry. I got a plan, you freaking hoosier. I'm going to put a campfire right behind Adonis. And I'm going to leave him sitting in there. Burning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a little I'm a little nervous for Adonis right now. Adonis, what you going to do? Oh, Dibs on his little orb thing that lights up sometimes. You don't know what to do with that. He's got the old lady doesn't get you the freaking brown mold, Will. <laughs> I want some mold. Brown. Give me the mold. <laughs> Give me the mold. Dang I'm going to take it back on and uproot that ice. Oh, that dude looks like a crackhead. Got a hold of the wrong stuff. Could have been a crack dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know about it. This is a special brown mold flute passed down in my family for generations. I don't know. Don't know. Alabama leprechaun. Y'all see half the yellow hey. Mobile Alabama leprechaun. <laughs> this okay, amateur so sketch. <laughs> have we uh, all rolled initiative? Yes. yes. Okay, There's a lot. Uh, Callie got a 20. Or no, she got never mind. She got nineteen as well. Everyone got nineteen. Sorry. Yeah, you have four nineteens. There are four nineteens. Oh my god. Okay, let's do a uh, twenty-fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Callie and Adonis got nineteen. Helen I got nineteen. Buyo got nineteen. <laughs> no, after you. No, after you. No, <laughs> please. I insist. It's after you. Oh, I'm just going to uh, step over here a little. We're, we're just, just going to do it uh, alphabetically. Oh, fuck. I was going to say, can I go first anyway? Because uh, I'd be uh, in the situation. Are there any other 20s and 15s? We could just go in order of the line that we've created. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, 15 to 10. No. No. Nope. It's only one person left. Okay, what'd you get, Kudrin? Seven. Our special boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy looking at stuff. Okay. I'm just like, I, so, something sounds funny over there, but how about this bed? I love, I love that he goes last. <laughs> and I'm just in the fucking room. Do do do. Well, Spain is my <laughs> accent. I like it. Okay. Singing All right, song. Adonis. Um, since this creature is actually rifling through, you will get a surprise round, and you'll get to go again. Oh boy, that's a that sounds like a good old time for Dragon's Breath again. One with my bonus action. Hello, and then with my action, I will use it, and it'll be a uh, fire. Dude, dub Dragon Breath. Sick. <laughs> In case you didn't want to loot anything. I'm burning all the goddamn crown. Yeah, that's right, fuck <laughs> That is a 15 and an 18. What is this? Yep. 14. Okay. And then the um, the woman in the back with the moss veil has got a t uh, 12, which is a fail. Yay! So that's 11 fire damage. So five and five to the two in the front, and let full damage to the person in the back. Uh-huh. And then I guess I'll let another one rip. <laughs> All right. 
eight. Ah, that's seven. Uh, that is a 14 and an eight. So once one. One save, yeah. And one present. And then the one on the back has got a 20 to save. Okay. So three. So two. Oh, yeah, three damage, right? You said seven? Half? Seven. Seven have to three. <clears throat> Would you like to do anything else with your turn? As you uh, just light up this room, catching everything on fire. Uh, I don't know if I have room to let anybody else in, but I'll try to make myself scarce. Hop up on that cabinet. You could <laughs> suck it in. I don't know how much that. Yeah. You can say "ope" and walk past this mark. Oop. Is this the same situation where the, the two plants in front of me don't look as injured by the fire as previous uh, they, plants? Yes. Okay. They don't go and, up, they don't go up in flames like the little twig plants do. And then, uh, and I don't know if does this like ignore resistance? I don't remember. What do you mean? Uh, dragon's breath. If people have, if an enemy had resistance, I can't remember if if it ignored it. I don't think it says. No, it doesn't say. Okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't uh, have an effect on that. All right. So is that the end of your turn? Or do you want to walk back out of the room? Um. Or push into the corner. You could squeeze in the corner, kind of be mostly in the open. I just want to get out of Ismark's way if he's coming. I don't know. Or somebody's way. Somebody's behind me. So yeah, you, you can move and share the space with this cabinet. It'll be partially in it. Or you okay. can... I'll hang out with the cabinet. Oh, I'm, I'm brave. All right. So we have Julio up next. I shouldn't be brave, but I'm brave. I'm going to do a little darty boy. And dart past his mark. Dart into the room. And... I should have uh, run away. <laughs> Start blasting. I should have ran away. <laughs> I don't have any spells left, so you're all good. Oh, <laughs> Whip out my rapier and do a uh, a little slash, a slashy slash to slash. Um, what I would like to do is kind of go. Do those those have numbers? Those are the same thing. I'd like to kind of go underneath the legs of the first one and attack the one that's directly in front of Adonis instead of the first one. Because I think I have the movement for it. It's in five feet of range anyway, right? Oh, there. Okay. I didn't want to go... Well, that's fine. Yeah. I didn't really want to go all the way. You can't end a spit. You can't end in the same space as something. No, but I can attack in between movement. I can stop for a second underneath the legs, attack, and then move back out, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you want to... Okay, sorry, I just misunderstood. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and make an attack, and then you want to move back to where you were, right there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Uh, I should have had... There we go. Uh, the touch. Wow. Uh, nine. <laughs> um, this, this creature is like made of a bunch of like writhing vines that twist and knot itself into like a humanoid form, and you go to stab into it, and it just opens up its vine, and you just hit this gaping hole, and you watch it close as you retract your rapier. Is there anything else to do? Boiled by the plants again. <laughs> anything else to uh, do? Uh, that's, I think that's all I can do. Helena. Helena! Can I see into the room? Absolutely not. Uh, damn, all these people. Can I oop, try to scoop by you there to at least as far as I can forward? 
That's the oldest. It would be a 10, 20, 25. There, eight. Uh, a, and can I tap on it? It's more be like, hey, bud, just trying to see right past you real quick. He goes, oh, uh, let me get out of your way there, bud. <laughs> and, and can I see any, can I see the dirty lady? Can I see the dirty lady? Uh, oh. you can kind of, you can, yeah, you can see her. Fairly. I want to put a campfire under her feet. Oh, bonfire, sorry. <laughs> Oh my God. So I will cast create bonfire under her feet. How does how does this work? She has to make a deck save. Okay. Look at that bonfire. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Um, bonfire by Childish Gambino just starts blaring in the room. Uh, make deck a deck save. save. Yeah. That's a fourteen. Uh, you need fourteen to save. Ooh. So that's the save? Yes. So she saves. No damage? But No damage, but there's a bonfire in her feet. Really? So at some point, she'll have to move. So at some point, she'll have to move. Oh where are you going to go? This is oh, wait, where are you going? She can't. <laughs> that's why I created a bonfire in her feet. This is... Pretty funny. We're going to burn down the damn winery. It's a plan. Huh. That's the plan. Uh, I got my no. mold. We okay. came here to get a delivery. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Callie's up. Uh, Callie. This is a mess. She can't get in there. She, there's nothing. Like, no. This is a mess. Like, she can't see anything. So, she's gonna be there. I don't think, yeah, she can't do anything. Okay. Uh, okay, she'll dash past everybody and go down the hall to the hall to the right. Take the help action. Um, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh my gosh. 35, 40. There's... Yeah, your bonfire is like, this whole room is just smoldering. The room is filling up with smoke. It's hard. It's hard to see and breathe at this. It only fills a here. five foot cube. Sure, but the rest of the room was partially on fire, and it says it, it catches everything flammable around it on fire. And I explain, in the area that aren't being worn or carried, that aren't being worn or carried. So this large wooden contraption <laughs> that is in this space is now catching on fire. Along hey, with everything else in this I already room. called dibs on that. Damn it. <laughs> you better not catch the other room on fire. I I, I'm doing fire too, so this is going to get real, real nice. Uh, uh, but Callie's going to run down the hall and to the right with the dash. So she can just be over that way. You want to full movement? It just like past the door that Gudrun's in. Good and help. <laughs> Just like running by. Good. Yeah. So you watch this dirty creature pull, like, like reach into this veil of moss, and it pulls out a small, like, pinch of dirt, and begins to sprinkle it on the ground. Mm, right in the fire. And then moves 10, 20, 30. What? Five. What? All the rooms on fire. Can't you move least. through unwilling people? Actually, I don't know if you can move through unwilling. I think they have to be willing for you to be able to actually walk through them. I think so too, unless you're tiny, or unless you're Booyah. Unless they get opportunity attacks, we could just let that, you know, just well, you can, well, you can walk chop by, her down. Walk by Booyah, it'd be kind of tough to squeeze through that, that doorway. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nix that. That's not what she does. Um, she is small. She, and that space she's in is also on fire. She just stepped out of the actual physical, like, full frontal fire that was put under her feet. But um, she actually starts, like, manipulating the fire in this room and she makes a small sphere with it and throws it at Adonis. Oh boy. 
Um, that's a 16 to hit. Damn it. This happens every time I use mage armor. I put it up to 16 and then you roll 16s and it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. Hit. That's the short answer. Um, it's only three points of fire damage, but I need you to make a constitution check for Dragon Spray. No! I refuse. I refuse. Three. This warm feeling in your stomach seems to dissipate and release with a small burp, and a little tuft of smoke comes out of your mouth. All right, buds. Um, the creature standing right in front of you, Adonis, is also going to attack you. Perfect. Um, that is only a 10 to hit, though. Miss Aruno. Uh, Irina is going to help Helena in any way she can. She's going to hold her action until Helena goes and tries to help her and try to help her. <clears throat> help and then the <laughs> creature standing in front of Booyah is also going to attack Booyah. Yay. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. Miss. Um... Well, you begrudgingly take 11 points of opening <laughs> damage. And you mine. are considered grappled. Hey, Gudrun. It's uh, me. You look, you look behind you as Callie is like hiding behind the door and wall kind of as she ran by. I'm like, go. <laughs> That's all right. Well, first, I'm going to uh, walk out the door and like turn to him and be like, what's going on? I don't know if I can answer that. Like, I literally don't know if I... Okay, well then I'll, I'll turn around. Do I notice any smoke billowing out of the freaking room? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Alright, yeah. so I am going so to... Fire in there. Gudrun, Fireman Extraordinaire, and I mean, can I like grab Buyo and like pull him out of the room? And Adonis, any chance? Like, what can I do there? You I'm gonna pulling you. You, can, you can grab Buyo out of there if you make a strength check. All right, first step, I'm going to move over there and, and grab Buyo out of the room, so long as he's willing and it's not a grapple contest. And 10. I'm uh, struggling. He's a little boy. <laughs> you're you're going you're gonna to struggle? Go ahead and make a strength check. Again? No, uh, Booyah. This oh. is this is me trying to help. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, it's exactly. It's not. I'm already grappled. Yeah, yeah. So, well, you can, you can let him try to pull you out of there, but then it'd be a strength with the other creature. You just play in tug of war with Booyah right now. That's essentially All what right. it would be. Well, I got a three, so whatever is gonna happen, happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, the creature got a 12 oh. total. So we got 13 total. No, <laughs> it, that's, no. It was, Me it was plus it, Booyah. It, was, it hurts you. Yeah, Booyah's stuck in the room. All right. Silly Booyah. Silly oh, Booyah. It's a, yeah. it's Mark's turn. Um, Good luck with that is, Mark. <laughs> As Mark tries to grab Buyo again, <laughs> Buyo is still squirmy. Squirmy. He's gonna pull out his heavy crossbow and try to Oof. take a take a shot at one of the vine creatures. Headshot to get Buyo. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, he rolled very high, but what's that? An eighteen or a nineteen? It's a it's a sixteen. What well, portion? You get a plus five. I don't remember how you see where. Uh, weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the, the thing's gonna get a plus five to its AC. He has a plus three, so it's a 19. Any hits? Yeah. Believe it or not. Seven points wow. of damage. He shoots uh, he shoots this one, kind of threading threading the, the gap between Adonis and Julio, just over Julio's head. All right, we're back at the top of the order. Adonis, Buyo, Helena, Callie. 
Um. Damn. Don't know what these things are resistant to. So that's cool. Uh, more dragon breath. Thanks to that arcane recovery. So bonus action, dragon breath. Bye, second level spells. Um, yeah. So what type of damage? Let's do some acid damage. That sounds fun. Acid damage? Uh huh. That's okay. True. Hopefully that works. Um, um, I'm gonna aim at the druid. I'm trying to hit the druid. Okay. So the creature got a 20, but the druid only got a 7. Okay, so it's 8 acid damage to the druid, 4 to the other. So yeah, you're up. I'm gonna try with all my might to bust out of this creature's grasp. Make a athletic or acrobatic check. He's just gonna flex real hard. hard and break out of the restraints. I Barbarian. Get, I'm, I'm flexing <laughs> with my acrobatics for a 10 total. You try to get free, like you get your left arm free and you go to push out. The next thing you know, it's pinned to your side again. You are still grappled. Ah. I kick it in the shin. I'm gonna create a bonfire under Booyah this time. Give <laughs> me a little more motivation. Um, anything else you'd like to try to do? I would like to try to kick it in the shin. Um, your action was try to break from it, but yeah, you, you kick it in the shin. Perfect. That's all I wanted to do. Sure. It doesn't feel good about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's uh, Helena. Yeah, can I see the druid's feet? Uh, it's kind of up in the corner. I think the wall would be in your way at this point. Ah, oh, man. I need to move my bonfire over five feet. <laughs> <laughs> Might naturally. Can I just wing it? <laughs> that has to be in my sight, so I can't see it. So can I move ten feet to Buyo? Move my bonfire and move ten feet back? Yes. I'll allow that. All right, that's what Helen is going to do. Except to be 20 feet to Buyo, 20 feet back. Oh, no. Because Buyo can move through people. It doesn't work for us. Yeah. Others. He's still a trip hazard for you. <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> well, since they're not occupying the same space, I'll just move the bonfire onto the creature that's north of him, even though they're grappled. But they're not occupying the same space. Next save? Yeah. Uh, it's a 19. Yeah, he saves. He's got hot feet, though. Very hot feet. Loves it. Damn. This Actually, it's a 17. I think that's close when does the acid and fire make the floor just disappear? Yeah, Cal, Cal, you're up. Yep. Oh boy. Run in the room. Start investigating. Take a nap. Um. Um. I guess, the... I guess she'll move a little further down the hall just to give everyone room to do whatever they're doing. She's not opening any doors, so. Let's... She just got some dancing lights around her if it's dark, and then that's it. All right. Um, you see the creature in the corner, the human creature pulls out like a few pieces of bark and like um, starts just rubbing this few small pieces of bark on her skin, and it begins to transfer and her entire skin hardens, and she pulls a shield out from her back and her quarter staff ready to protect herself. I respect that. So the creature in front of Adonis will attack Adonis. No! No! Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, that's 20. Oh. That's 22 to hit. Oh, okay. That's a miss. It hits, but not natural 20. Sheesh. That's uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are 
and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Mm. For your for your concentration. Is it a constitution save or is it just like what is the the throw? It's a, it's a constitution saving throw. Okay. I don't think I rolled that last time. Uh eleven. Hey, you save, so you still hold concentration in your dragon's breath. Yeah. Take that, you grabby boy. But you are grappled. Yeah, well, that's, you know, as as is normal. Um, Irena's gonna help Helena with anything she decides to try to do. This Including is, has bonfire. The creature on the bonfire is gonna make another deck save. Not for my thing. What? It's what? At the, it'd be at the end of his turn. At the end of its turn? Yes. Well, the, the whole fucking room's on fire, so there's nothing really <laughs> uh, so get over it, it's making a save. So you, you can, you can uh, roll your 1d8 fire damage to let out a 9 saves. I'm gonna let this fire hurt me later. Oh, it's d8. Ignore this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is a 3, whether I roll d6 or d8. Three. Okay. Okay. I want you can take the first points. number. Um, yeah, with, with Booyah Grapple, actually. Hey, next level is 2d8, though. Can't wait to get Still gonna roll a three. Two threes. Okay. That's, that's, that's a six, bud. That's pretty nice. I'm just waiting for the little owl winery to come to life. <laughs> Gotcha. What do you think he's holding? Oh. <laughs> uh oh, I don't like it. What is happening? Are we going down a floor? <laughs> Man, I'm glad I wasn't in that room. <laughs> Does my bonfire travel with them? Oh, no, wait, uh, that's the tangles, that's the vines, I think, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Either that or thunderous boom that hurts everything everywhere. Please don't be that. I need everyone in green to make a strength saving throw. Mm, nice. Is that a good to save to make? It's smart, it's smart Texas, so. Fuck me. Julio gets a 3. Uh, Donis gets a 12. 21. Mm. Buyo, you are also considered restrained. Oh, I'm um, grappled and restrained. Attacks against you have advantage, and uh, your rolls against creatures have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against creatures have disadvantage? <sighs> yeah, well, so when you attack things, you have disadvantage. Okay. When things attack you, they have advantage. God, what do I even do right now? Right. Continue looting. You're restrained, so there's that. No, I'm not restrained, am I? Or no. wait, no, you you saved. Never mind. I everyone, saved. Everyone saved but Booyah. Oh, my 12 saved? Nice. 12 saves. Typical Booyah. Get right. Okay, if I like... Gosh, 5, 10, 15... 20, 20, I can't get back in. Back out. Can I like walk? I know you said I can't end in the same spot. So, first question: Am I able to walk, like right up on Ismark, whip my javelin in at that one in front of Buyo, and then duck back to like the spot I'm in now? Okay. You can. Uh, okay. It's the room is starting to become obscured with smoke. And you also have Adonis and Buyo in the way, though. Okay, so then second question. What are these walls made out of? Wooden, wood? It's a wooden building. Okay, I'm going to move over five feet. Okay, that's ten feet. Towards is... In rough terrain. All right, all right. And I am just going to obliterate the shit out of this wall as much as I can. Wolfsbane, I'm going to try to chop this, this opening open a little bit so that more people can get in there. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. <laughs> no. God, I hope this doesn't. Do, I hope it hits, but not that well. I hope it doesn't hit. Okay, eight. Eight. You go to like furiously start chopping, and you 
your battle axe is stuck in the wall and you can't seem to get it ajar. Damn. That's that's your action. You still have some movement. I don't want a shining moment where it goes right into me. My axe is just in the wall. Stuck. My still have movement to do nothing with. Um. Okay, I guess I'll move. Chuck, Let me just move you? to the edge of that square. Was that what twenty more feet? Yeah. Back down towards Cali, just so I'm a little bit out of it. Goodbye, Wolf Spain, for now. That's it. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna yell. Wolf Spain. <laughs> yeah, I'm pissed. I've lost it once, so I thought. Uh, man, I guess this Mark's just gonna take another shot. Uh, that's, uh, that's super high seven, so nothing for Miss Mark. All right, Adonis. Adonis, um, you know how long Cali? I'm going to keep breathing on shit. Uh, Adonis, <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to start. But why? Because the entire room is on fire. Um, no. Uh, that'd be 17 there, Chief. Okay, go ahead and uh, continue to spit acid at... <laughs> I will just... More acid! Put the fire out with your acid. God. Alright, that's a 7 <laughs> on 3d6. And I'm about to throw some alchemist fire in there. <laughs> it still is a dex save, right? Yeah, everyone's rolling dex save. Ooh, natural 1 and... Uh, 12. Nice. Both fail. Take that seven acid. They're both looking very rough. I need them to die. Oh, well, they're not dead, so. Please? Anything else you can do? Um, I can just be there. All right, Julio. I need a... I mean, I could try to get out and, uh, and take opportunity of tax, I mean. Up to you. It's not a, it's not a very kind place to be right now. You're doing great. Um I'm gonna I guess I stay. I got this. To finish the fight. I got this. Come on, Ben. Alright, Billy, I need a deck save. Uh disadvantage. Yes. Yep. Seven. We dropped a natural twenty. Uh, you take six points of fire damage to start. And, and to start, I am unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> no, what else is new? Oh no, this is this is bad. Oh my god, the fire's gonna do damage out of. Get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> this one, please. Oh my god. It's just gonna auto death. Oh my god. I can't handle this right now. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh. Um. Well, I can't help Booyo other than try to kill the things in there. That's unfortunate. So I'm gonna shoot an electric blast at. Uh. The, creek, the only creature I can see. The one in front of me that's standing on top of a bonfire. Alright. Go ahead and make a spell attack. Yes, sir. At disadvantage, because it's obscured, obscured in the room. Nine. And it does. Seven points of damage. <laughs> the electric blast just disappears in the smoke. <laughs> Un uncertain if it hits anything or not. Uh, Helena pats herself on the back, so good, good shot. Oh, actually, <laughs> um, Irina spent her action helping you, so... Um, ignore that. You should roll a straight roll. 24 to hit. 24 Ooh. definitely hits. And this one will do three points of damage. Sorry. God, I hate cantrips. It does a lot of damage next level. A small, slightly thicker yeah, than a hair. As we discussed, it'll do six. Again. <laughs> Um, do you like to try anything else? Um, maybe as a bonus action, I'll pass a healing potion up to Ismark and be like, 
Hey man, try slipping this in some of my boy's mouth. Oh my god. Uh, it's not the poison wine, I promise. Not. <laughs> All right, Cal, you're up. Callie, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna go in that room that, right next to like where Gudrun is, and then try to open a window to clear out some smoke. That's right. Hopefully nothing. Yeah. So hopefully nothing tries to kill her. Callie's great adventure. <laughs> I mean, what is she gonna do? Let's see. Um. There is, there is, there is one window in the back of this room, so she like rushes over and opens a window. Um, yeah. It's just a very similar room to the one Gudrun found. There's two beds and like four foot lockers. Um, she's she's kind of in a panic right now. That's that's about all she gathers. Yeah. I'm trying to get some smoke out of this place, I guess. The, the the creature in front of Leo is just going to attack Adonis. Doesn't have anywhere to Does go. it have to try to avoid damage so that it can die first? It is going to do a dex save, and it succeeds. Oh fuck it! Actually, it has a minus one, so it doesn't succeed. It takes seven points of fire damage, but it's still alive. Oh fuck it! Um. So it's gonna attack with disadvantage the room. Although it's a nice attack. It's but it's a 13 to hit. Miss. There you go. Ah, the armor helped. Who's here? What are you doing? It is me. All right, I'm gonna try to move back over again and try to pull Booyo out of there once again. So this is 20 feet. Sure. Uh, Booyo is grappled and restrained, so go ahead and try to grab him. Rage. Strength again. If I had the rage, I would do it. Duh. But I don't. Oh, damn it. Seven. Fourteen. Oh. Booyo won't budge. Uh, okay. I'm a heavy boy. I'll just stay there, grab Wolfsbane, even though I know I can't do anything with it, and just scream again. Wolfsbane into the night. <laughs> Damn it, Buyo. Ismark is going to take his turn to give Buyo a healing potion. Buyo, get the heck out of there. It's funny, when Buyo rushes into things, he automatically, almost every time, is almost dead. <laughs> you get eight healing points, Buyo. Oh, I just rolled 10 over there. He's gonna, he got eight healing points, and then he's gonna just fail on the fire roll next turn and take eight points of damage. <laughs> You're up. You got eight health. Uh, I got eight health. Adonis, 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 Booyo, Helena, Callie. So Adonis, I need a deck save. Please. Oh, no. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. <laughs> That's a nine. <laughs> We just Come took on. it. Come on. not gonna do it. I've got enough. Why don't you tell me what it does? Three fire damage, but you have to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, so I've got ten more health left in this bitch. All right. Hey, gamer girls and boys, that's a seven. Ooh, you drop <laughs> dragon's breath. Damn it, gamer girls and boys. <laughs> this is not good. So what are you doing, Adonis? Everything in this room is looking super rough, including the room. Like, the, the floor is on fire, the walls are on fire, this is gonna spread. Yeah, it will. Very soon. I'm I'm rushing out of there. I'm, uh, wait, five, does Booyo count as? It's all difficult terrain anyway. Yep. Five. So, it doesn't double though. Right? So it'd be 10, 20. Yeah, but the. I would have to dash to get out, right? Yeah. Or is that a space? Yeah, you, you can dash to get out. You can go in diagonal for the first one, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was gonna cast Guidance on Buyo and then 
Get the F out. Drive me, Adonis. Where are you going? This so way I just. Or so, this way? Uh, to the right. To the right. So 10, 20, 30. I say, good luck, Booyo. And then, uh. <laughs> I'm out of there. Well, no, I can only oh. go 30 because I use my action to cast oh, yeah, guidance. Guys, okay, yeah, which here. gives you a D4 on. Is that just ability checks? Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I don't think that's going to... Because it's not saves, it's just ability checks. Yeah. So, let's... If I've got an action, I may as well attack with it. So, I'll do a... A firebolt at the, uh, at the uh -huh. druid. Uh, let's go ahead and make an attack. 16. That misses. Okay, so that's going to be a D4 no the fireball just extinguishes on this creature's shield um okay. all right i'm out of there it's getting pretty hairy in there well you know i need the, i need deck save deck save yay 16. oh okay you're good you're, you're avoiding the flames as much as you can um what are you doing with your turn i want to try to run away but I'm still grappled, so I guess I have to strength check, right? If yeah. only you had a bonus to your ability check. You do get a plus four to ability checks, but it's a uh, strength Not anymore. Save. Oh, okay. I think it's a save. Oh, it is a save? Yeah. And it, this is... I don't want to ask. It's still a disadvantage. Uh, you shouldn't have disadvantage. It's an ability check. I shouldn't. Oh, wait, yeah, you're restrained, but it's not dexterity. So you should have had disadvantage on the fire. He did that. Okay, yeah, but not on the strength. All right, here we go. That's it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. You're, you're not, you're not, not budging. I'm paralyzed again. It was the first Dang time it. we played together. <laughs> I hope you're not too attached to Booyo. Hey, Helena, you're up. That vine is. Um, great. Um, <laughs> I will like to. I I'm just gonna put a bonfire. I'm gonna create another bonfire under. Oh my god! No. I mean, it's the same. The one, the last one I made goes away, but the new bonfire is just going oh, into the same. Never thing. mind. I'm just recreating it, so it has to roll the dex save. Oh, I rolled. I rolled a fourteen. Happened last time. Minus one. Oh, 13. perfect. Yeah. And it'll take eight points of fire damage. Whee! Oh, to that one. Whee! And in a tough to smoke, how would you like to see this thing go up? Um, it's similar to throwing a bunch of sticks on a, a fire. I mean, it just crackles. There's smoke. I mean, the room's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's slow. I mean, it's golden brown. It looks good. Whatever was in there is gone. Oh, you God. can roast a marshmallow. On it's it. not ash yet. Maybe like a couple hours. Okay, sounds good. It's just a bonfire. Okay. Would you like to do anything else? Uh, I honestly can't do anything else really. So no. Callie. Callie. Yeah. She's, uh, she's gonna continue to open windows, so she'll go down the hall to the right. <laughs> oh no. 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 I guarantee something in there. She's gotta do something. Hey look, a conference room. <laughs> it's a kitchen. Conference uh, room, uh, five minutes. So that's 30 feet. She can get to, she, yeah, she can get to the window, open this window. Is there yeah. a sink? There is not a sink. <laughs> no. no. There you go. Open the window, check. Remember when Helena planned to just burn down this building from the beginning? <laughs> we could avoid everything if we just did that. Oh God, how are we going to put it out? <laughs> How are we gonna get our fifty gold? We're gonna level up from this fight, and then someone's gonna take create water. Immediately. I have mold water, but I can't uh, create it. So the druid is gonna move over, make a dex save at a ten. So it takes. Did she just move into the fire? 
Well, she's the whole room is on fire. But the bonfire, very specifically. Yes. She has to roll when she enters the bonfire for the first time as well. Well, she actually died before she made it to the bonfire. Damn it. She what a freaking little goo goo baby. She took a, <laughs> she took two points of damage. Yeah, exactly that. She took two points of damage. I was as, close. Uh, before she moved over anyways from the room. And is, that was too is, much for her. Oh my god, the bonfire's gone! No! <laughs> this other mind creature makes a deck save. It succeeds. God, frick, this blind creature. It's going to attack the only thing it can. You're no longer uh, gra grappled, but you're still restrained, uh, Leo. Still so restrained? I made the, I succeeded the deck save, though. You succeeded the yep. deck save, which kept the you on the fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep it <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Do they points Do of it. damage? It's a natural 20. Do it. Attack. Oh my gosh, is this is the end of Luyo. Everybody, we're just being conscious again. It. It's 20 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Night, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> 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 Good night, Bluyo. <laughs> he didn't like. Uh, why didn't you just make it thirty and end it all? Actually, you're not. You're not, uh, you're not restrained anymore. Oh, sweet. The creature that uh, that just died is the one that left oh. the cool. That does not help my situation. I mean, kinda. Uh. So, uh, it's Irina's turn. Uh, she's just gonna help Helena with whatever she wants to do. <laughs> uh, she defers until the second half. Good turn, it's your turn. Is he gonna take my action to get Wolfsbane? Make a strength check. 20. Not natural. No. Alright. So <laughs> no, I don't. Bonus no, I don't get it. Uh, no, it doesn't take an action. Oh, the bonus first, action though? Yeah, bonus action. Grab Wolfsbane. Okay, go in the room next to the target. Just whatever gets me in, in range of target. And attack with Wolfsbane. Go ahead and make an attack roll. 23. Hits. 12 damage. How do you want to kill it? Should we just gonna, in the room? I'm just gonna <laughs> blow. I'm just gonna like take the axe and I'm just gonna like and then just gonna hit him. Very vanilla. The plainest of all ice cream flavors. With one swipe, the uh, lumberjack Gudrun cuts down this fine creature. It breaks into a bunch of small pieces that are like writhing and trying to put itself together, construct its humanoid form, and it just kind of falls apart, laying lifeless on the ground. We have to put the fire out. Are we still turns? I will say because there is a massive fire, I will, uh, so Ismark will try to stabilize Julio. That's an 11, you're stable, Julio. Not today. Dang, yet again. It is now the top of the order. I have Adonis, Buyo, Helena, Cali. Um, Adonis, so, okay. So, Prestidigitation lets you snuff out a small campfire. Can I just keep casting it to try to put out as many small areas of fire that I can? Yes. So, it's, it's I not, guess. It's not going to take care of the whole room right No, not, not right away, but I'll do that until. Because That's it, gonna be my turns until okay. I can try to put it out. Because it is a cantrip, will you just give me a arcana check? Ten. Okay. Buyo, you take a death fail as a... Uh, I stabilize. I stabilize. The fire causes you to take a death fail. I'd hopefully be putting it out. Yep, on I, was, I was gonna see if you were gonna get that space. 
before, I, I'm not, uh, before he was I'm not, take damage. I'm not dead yet. So he's he's still taking damage. Um, Helena, Callie, what are you doing for this this fire? Well, Callie also has that same skill. Uh, she'd love to come help. It's like we have two Adonisai. Adonisai. I mean, so you're already gonna yell for Callie's help? Uh, ch- cha. Okay. She wants to learn magic. Now's the time to learn. Let's go. Um, is the what's the floor? Do I remember what the floor is like? That the wine, not the cellar, but the one above the cellar is. It's not dirt, is it? Nope. It's a um, wooden floor. This floor is starting to buckle and fall apart. It's not gonna last much longer. I'm gonna. Was there water in the brown moss room? No. I'm gonna run for the barrel of wine in the cellar. I'm out. I'm gonna dash. Mm. Okay. So I have. Irina, who's just throwing her water skin into the room, doing oh, it, essentially nothing. <laughs> um, Gudrun, Gudrun, uh, deck save. Okay. Is, is Mark doing all doing all this? Is Mark so giving mouth to mouth? Uh, deck save. Can I see it? Because I have advantage on deck save from the danger sense. Yeah, yeah, you're dodging flames. All right, so thank God for that. Okay, 20. You're good, no problem. Um, what are you doing here? I am going to pick up little Buyo mm-hmm. in my arms, and I'm going to get the frick out of there and take him to the next, like, down the hall. Can I, can I go past those people? You won't be able to make it. Okay. Carrying him counts as the action, right? And you're, you, you're half movement while you're carrying him. So, okay. So pick him up and then you're half movement. My tail okay. is all this time. Gotcha. No dash, right? No, yeah, yeah. You, you scooped him up. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then that's it. A tradition like no other. Gudrun carrying Buyo. Uh, <laughs> so <cute. laughs> This mark is going to... Continue to. Actually, Mark's gonna do another medicine check on Julio right behind him. Is any stable? I thought, or am uh, I dumb? He started catching fire, which he rolled a fourteen. Oh, so that's he, right. He, <laughs> so he, he, put, he, put, he puts the flames out and helps Julio again. Oh my gosh, Julio, right. you're back again. This man has been there and back again. So uh, Adonis, Adonis and Callie, I need Arcana checks from you. Freaking firefighters over here. Uh, Adonis got a 13, and Callie, she got a whopping 20. Um, you actually are able, even though you're just using a cantrip repeatedly, you're starting to put out like the low smoldering fires of like the um, wardrobe and whatever the weird contraption in the back is. Um, <gasps> Save the contraption. The floor is probably, look, it looks like it's very close to buckling and falling, but you might be able to contain the fire. Um, Helena, you make it down to the bottom floor. You're almost into the cellar. Continue on to the cellar. So you dash, you are now in the- Can I go to the bottom of the stairs? If, if If that's probably less than 30 feet, right? Like the bottom of the stairs at the cellar? Yes. That it would not be 30 feet. How far is it? Far enough. It would be 40 feet to the bottom. Oh, jeez. Because you're, you're running in a circle. It's not yeah. just like a straight fall. They're circular stairs. Well, I'm going to have to dash to the bottom of the stairs. Dash? To the cellar. You're in the cellar. Um, is there any wine in the cellar? <laughs> to the first room? In the west room, no, but there are the three barrels and the several bottles in the eastern room. All right, I'll just stop at the bottom of the stairs and since I already my action, but I'm going to start dragging a cubidur with me. Okay. 
Um, Irina, Ismar continue to just like throw water in the room, which is now that it's starting to go down is actually helping. Yay. Gudrun, anything you would like to do? Um, I want to dash into that room next to the fire room with Buyo and put him in the bed on the on the east wall. As long as that room is not also on freaking fire. I was, about, I was about to say, you look and you can see like smoke coming through the wall, but it's where Adonis and Callie are starting to put things out. And it looks like they just extinguished it with some pretty good rolls right before okay. the room started to catch on fire. Hilarious. All right, with anything left, I would like to check any of those cabinets before they <laughs> freaking light on fire. If oh, there's yeah. any, if I've got enough to, left in me. You use your action to dash. Oh, you're right. Never mind. I'm gonna think about doing it though. I'm gonna think about the things I should have had already. <laughs> All right. So again, Adonis and uh, Callie, I need Ar- Arcana checks. Ooh, that's a seven. Yeah. Uh, and Kelly got a 15. So you put out the rest of the flames in this room. There's just like a small, it's, there's just charred wood and smoke still billowing from this very hot charred wood. And you just hear large support beams crack and this entire room cave in down to the bottom floor. Now with all of you out of it, um, luckily, but uh, the entire contents of this is just rubbish in a pile on the um, ground floor. Helena dragging a cube of dirt in the cellar. She's gonna drag it up. She's ready to put out this fire. I hope her friends are okay. <laughs> okay, so you dash, and that's the. No, she can't dash because she has to use an action to move the dirt. Oh, okay. So you're making it up the stairs. Uh, the immediate danger is actually done, so we don't have to go in turn order. So you make it up the stairs, uh, you look and see that the room is just fucking gone. There's smoke everywhere, so you still rush over to throw the dirt. There, yeah, there might be fire, I have to bring the dirt. And uh, you just see like a, a smoldering pile of rubbish, still causing smoke from the bottom. But throw the dirt on it. Okay, there's no immediate fire. Um, there it up. <laughs> oh, great. Gudra. <laughs> Back you, to look in the cabinet. You find, finally, so this is, this is just essentially a sleeping quarters. Um, great. The western wall, or the, you're in the western room, right? Yeah, you're in the, okay. Yeah. So, um, there's a few like small children's toys laying around. Um, there's a uh, very common clothes that don't even come close to fitting you in the foot lockers. Um, and there's a kind of like off putting, um, wooden rocking horse. The, uh, it's black and it has wild eyes and there's painted orange flames on its mane. Its tail and hooves uh, on its male mane, its tail and its hooves. Um, carved into this nightmare is the name Bucephalus. What? And in smaller letters, there's a slogan that's carved into it that reads is no fun is no blinksy. Okay, well, first I'm going to take the toys and I'm going to lay them in bed with Buyo to comfort him in this time of need. <laughs> so you take the smaller toys and just start burying little Buyo. As I tuck toys. him in for a nap, I'm going to pull the cover up. And then I'm going to take that horse and be like, hey, hey, you magic people, what the hell is this? Tell me about this. Anyone know? Do Just like touch it, see if it's magic. I don't know. How does it work? Are you talking through it, or are you talking like having it up, like puppeteering it, or are you like? I'm like holding it. I don't know how big it really is. I'm just like, what the fuck is this thing? And then I mean, I'll take a look at it. 
and then I'm Let's gonna just look at it. it. I'll, I'll just look at it. it. I'm looking at that horse. It is a nightmarish looking rocking horse. It, that, it's, that's just... it's terrifying. Is it just wood? If there's nothing special? It's, it's, it's terrifying. It's wooden. He just looked at it. He he also reads is no fun, is no blinksy on it. I'm Where's gonna, the wind by? Are there is there any fire left? No. Well, there's still the slightly smoldering pile of refuse at I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the fire to see if Please it reacts. Don't fuel the fire. Put it in the fire to see if it reacts. <laughs> You throw this like wooden rocking horse. Um, it's just sitting on top of very hot wood. It hasn't caught on fire yet or anything. It's just sitting on top of a pile of refuse. I'll All create right. a bonfire on top of it just for just for future. <laughs> okay. After I drag dirt, you know, 150 feet. Okay, so you start to burn this children's toy. Um, have no fun. Have no blanksy. So you, yeah, you burn this children's toy and then put it out with your your cube of, of dirt. Mission the, accomplished. The kids, the kids that live here will be very happy. It is I'm no fun, it's no blinksy. It's an unfortunate accident. <laughs> I guess that's all all, they, all she wrote in that room. All right, and since we have put out the fire, I told you what you explored other than Callie over there, but no one's in that room. We can uh, wrap this up for tonight. Woo. And uh, jump right back into it on Tuesday. Nice. Oh, right. Ooh. I'll be there late, but I'll be there. It is no fun. It's no blinksy. Yeah, I'd rather have one person late than Seth not be able to make it. So It's fine by me. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, thanks for playing. Sorry it ran so late. Sorry I was so late. Bad. I feel Apologies bad. Apologies unaccepted. Right. Never forgiven. I feel pretty bad. Right. I'm very. I'm trying to be very strict about like a 10:30 cut off. And you but... didn't have to take it out on Buyo. I mean, I yeah. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, I can kill them. He's the perfect punching bag. He's always taking licks. I, I mean, feel... at this point, you're gonna have to start g giving him permanent damage. I feel so bad about the for Buyo. <laughs> He's still alive. Lives another day. Do you want me to kill him? Will that make you feel better? <laughs> no. It would not make me feel better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for playing. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye, friends. Ooh, Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't what is what is this song even called? Is this Burnt Spirit? We'll play Clash of Defiant. What's going on? What was with the flute beatboxing?